If a the dinosaur. <laughs> you know it's a great stream when I come in and I did not mean to stutter. Um, <laughs> if a dinosaur falls in the forest, does any wait? If it if it just if a dinosaur explodes in a comet, was did it? it did it ever can anybody hear it can anybody know what it is that was not like sometimes i plan to say things wrong and then sometimes i just say things wrong <laughs> if a dinosaur if a dinosaur gets hit by a comet was it ever wait what is this saying if it done wait now i'm confused if a tree falls in a forest is it if it what the hell is that saying <laughs> If a tree falls in the forest, does anyone hear it? Did it actually fall? What is the set? You know what? Just get rid of it. Let's. You know what? Let's just start. Just go back. Just pretend I didn't go in. Hold on. Just, sh sh Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, we're going to... Let's go, everybody. Um, this is the day that we play a dino dating sim. Last week, we... It was... Wow, already? It was only a week ago that it was... It was Valentine's Day? Anyway, we played Colonel Sanders Dating Simulator last week. And... It went, some would say, horribly... So, today we're playing Jurassic Heart, which is the other option that we might have played last week. Because, why not? And thank you to the members for helping me decide what we were going to do today. Because I wasn't sure, but everybody seemed very set on Dino Dating Sim. Hello, welcome to the stream. This is, <laughs> this is my, be honest though, if you were going to date a dinosaur, which one would it be? Um... Can I try pronouncing... <laughs> Can I try pronouncing... Pachycephalosaurus. 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 The ending is fine. Cephalosaurus, but the first part... Pachy? Pachy? Posh? Posh posh. It's did I do it? I don't know if I did it. Oh god. I think if I were to date any kind of dinosaur, it would be Honestly, Brontosaurus is pretty cool. That that was pretty good. <laughs> Velociraptor's a little bit too uh, intimidating for me, maybe out of my league. So <laughs> maybe Brontosaurus is a good, you know. Triceratops, though, too, is... I don't know. Just <laughs> just throwing it out there. If anyone... <laughs> Did anyone... I know, I know many people have had dinosaur phases in their life. I personally did as well. I had one in high school. Um, I remember I watched Jurassic Park, like, three times in a week. Like, every day after school. I just thought about it and watched it. And I loved that movie. And then I saw Jurassic World in theaters like four or five times. I think once or twice in 3D. And I loved it. And so I'm hoping this game kind of hits hits those uh, parts of me that, that loved Jurassic Park. I really, you know, what it was missing that first movie was um, Alan falling in love with the T-Rex. I truly think that that would make the plot better than it already was. Um... <laughs> <laughs> animatronic jurassic love <laughs> three look three times in a week watching that movie was a lot for me because usually i actually don't know what i did i had a job in high school so maybe i like did that i don't remember <laughs> i can't remember high school it feels like so long ago but i just remember sitting watching it on a tiny tv it was it was fun i gotta watch it again i haven't watched it since then i don't think <laughs> I, it's like the obsession went away and now it's coming back with Jurassic Heart. So should we just start playing? I, I think we might I I think I might uh 
stay on this screen here. Let me see. Let me do a little duty booty. I think that there's music in the game too, but I'm not sure. So I've got a system. Here we go. Here's the game. I think we're going to stay in the chatting screen, I think. Let me... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> that looked like it, it, the stream The stream was naked for a second there. That was... <laughs> the stream went naked. Oh, naked. Woo woo. That was me doing the whistle. Woo woo. Oopsie. Stream went naked. Uh... <laughs> okay. Let's start. Let's start the game. How? Also, I didn't ask how everyone's doing. How's everyone doing? <laughs> I hope everyone's good. It's a Wednesday. Um, it feels like the week is so long, but I don't know what's going on. I can't believe we're gonna play Jurassic. <laughs> we're dating dinosaurs. Why? What do I? Sometimes I just think, what am I doing? You know what I mean? What am I doing? Also, if a dinosaur, the first of all, the start of that sentence is terrible but if a dinosaur saw this stream it would be as impactful as the comet was as the explosion it would it would destroy it it's like showing this to a pilgrim imagine showing jurassic art to a pilgrim think of that this whole stream not even a pilgrim any someone from like 19 65 maybe would even be concerned <laughs> We don't even need to go as far back as pilgrims with this. Let's just start it. Why not? <laughs> Please enter your name. Um, I'm gonna do... Why did I click E? Who's that? <laughs> what person possessed me? Let's do... Let's do Rhinosaurus. Honestly, that should be a dinosaur. Rhinosaurus? I like it. I think I'm gonna do Rhinosaurus. I'm not asking anyone in the chat. I'm just going. Is there music in this game? Oh my god, yes, there is. It just got out of nowhere. It just, <laughs> it just started playing. Okay. Okay, this is cute music. Oh, this is really cute. Is it too loud? Let's see. Uh, I can't change the volume, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> oh, if it's too loud, you gotta suck it up. Ooh, this is my room. It's very important to know the rooms, I think. Um, let me just... Hold on, I gotta turn this down. I can't, I can't, if I can't hear myself talk, it's too loud. I can't believe that I'm about to do another dating simulator. Am I going to become a dating simulator channel? Hold on. Okay. Maybe that's better. Is it too low? How's the volume? Volume check. This is... <laughs> Rhinosaurus. My room is like so blue, it feels wrong. Am I in, am I in a dormitory? At least I have an air conditioning. That's something that I wish that I had in real life. Um all right. It's time to go buy a ukulele with <laughs> This is how we're starting with Terracoon. I Okay, sure. Yeah, let's go buy a ukulele. I'm not gonna question anything. I don't want to be. I don't want to go into this being like. <laughs> I want to go into this being skeptical and being like on defense. I don't think that's the right way to go into a dinosaur dating simulator. So let's. Yeah, you're right. It can't be worse than KFC. Um. So let's go buy a ukulele with Terracoon. Maybe I should buy him a meal too. I'm the reason why his old one is broken, after all. What the hell did I do with his ukulele? Smash it on the ground? Smash it on my forehead? Play it too hard? Maybe I played too hard. Party too hard. Come to think of it, isn't this gonna be the first time I meet him outside of school? Okay, so I know Terracoon from school. For some reason, I broke broke his ukulele. Now that makes me nervous. Better make sure I don't look funny. What? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What hair clip should I go for? <laughs> I get- Oh my god. I get to choose what- <laughs> I get to choose what hair clip to wear. The usual fossil-shaped hair clip. Treble clef-shaped hair clip. Meat on the bone-shaped hair clip. <laughs> or not wearing any. Um, okay. So w two of them are dinosaur themed and one of them is music themed. This is a- is this a music dinosaur game? 
Okay, okay. We're gonna... I think we should do... You know what? I feel like... I. Okay, people are saying meat. Y'all are saying meat. Meat on the bone. Meat on the bone. Meat on the bone shaped hair clip. I feel like the fossil one reminds me of Animal Crossing. But let's meet so the dinos want you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the meat on the bone one because I just can't imagine it, so I just I need to I need to wear it. This one's pretty cute. I hope so. I picked it out. It looks yummy too. <laughs> The writing, like, what are you talking about? It's a hair clip. Hopefully, Terracoon will like meat like I do. Ew! Vegan plays meat game. Vegan play <laughs> plays dinosaur meat game. Ew! All set. Now I better hurry and go meet him at the station. Okay, let's go, everybody. Let's run to the station and meet our friend. Oh, there he is. Hello, Terracoon. Did I make you wait? <laughs> Why? Why is it a dinosaur? There's no. I thought maybe we would be in like Jurassic times or like. Why? Why are we just casually. Oh my god, why are we just casually with a dinosaur in public? This is so... <laughs> the side eye too, it's very... It's very shark eye. It looks like a shark eye. Also, in my little drawing, I made my dinosaur wear a tie, and this one's wearing a tie too! I didn't even think about that! Oh my god. Yeah, are we dinosaurs? What? <laughs> this is if the meteor missed. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh god. <laughs> Rin plays a dino dating sim and is shocked the first character we meet is a dinosaur. But like there was no explanation. We broke his ukulele and that's all we got. We didn't get like, oh, by the way, my school is for dinosaurs. Or like, by the way, my friend is the only dinosaur I know. Or by the way, this is not <laughs> this is the reality. We're just thrown into it. We're just thrown into the world. I need to believe. I just gotta believe. What is the, what does the dinosaur sound like? Not at all. <laughs> I hate that. That sounds like Barney. Not at all, Rinosaurus. I've just got here as well. Oh no. By the way, that hair clip. <laughs> Please tell me you love it. Please tell me. You <laughs> the dino sounds like Gooey. <laughs> Uh, oh, this? I I thought it might be good to wear something different once in a while. Like, fully... <laughs> so just fully... <laughs> have a piece of meat in my hair. The clip, by the way, it's not like a fake plastic meat on a stick. It's like meat on a stick, and then they put like a... <laughs> like a clothespin on it, so it clips to your hair. There's just meat in my hair right now. <laughs> There's just meat in my hair. I, I thought I would do something different once in a while. And my favorite food is meat, so... <laughs> Why? Oh, really? I like meat, too. <laughs> no! No way! Oh my god, we have so, so much in common. My spine also looks like that. Especially when I sit in my gaming chair. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh my god, there's an eyelash in my eye. Help, somebody help. <sighs> oh my god, if I wore the fossil one, you're right. It, they would be so offended. Because <laughs> they're fossils. Oh, that would be bad. Now I need to know what happens when I do that. Um, Maybe we could have grilled chicken for dinner? <laughs> I can't believe this is real. That doesn't sound so bad, actually. Would a T-Rex really want grilled chicken, though? I feel like they would want, like, a full... <laughs> I don't... What do T-Rexes even eat? I don't know if anyone really truly knows. No one was alive to see it. Well, it looks like this is going well. <laughs> I say that in my head all the time during, uh, real conversations. So, ready to get your new ukulele? <laughs> yes, let's go. 
All right, let's go get a ukulele, baby. I'm ready. Oh, I got my ukulele. We should go to get... Why is nothing happening? Oh, I have to click again. Great. <laughs> Just love this. Okay, we're in the music store. All right, let's get you a nice ukulele. Wow, you really are fired up about this, aren't you? Yeah, I'm more excited than he is. He doesn't even care about the ukulele. Terracoon, I'm the one who put you into that situation with the music club. Of course I feel bad. What situation with what? So choose whatever you like. It's on me. Dude, ukuleles are kind of expensive. Like, are we not going to talk about that? How do I have that much money lying around that I could buy someone a ukulele? Yeah, uh, about that. I know how you feel, but I want you to know that it wasn't your fault. What happened? You didn't know that I'd panic in front of people, and I did, and dropped my old ukulele, breaking it into pieces as a result. Okay, by this explanation, we literally did nothing wrong, and I don't know why I'm paying for the ukulele. I have no idea why I would be paying for the ukulele if he just got scared and dropped it. Uh, how high did he drop it? How tall is a T-Rex? Which wouldn't happen if I didn't force you to play in front of them. Why did I force? This is toxic. But you didn't. I chose to do it myself. If you were forcing me, I wouldn't be here. Really? I'd feel terrible if you have to pay for something I did. I guess it's a green flag that he's saying this. I guess it's a green flag. After the Colonel Sanders stuff, this is like pretty nice that he doesn't want me to pay for it. Colonel Sanders would be like, oh, you want to fuel my... No, excuse me. He would be like, oh, you want to fuel my passion? You want to fuel my passion of mashed potatoes and uh, coleslaw that you made and I stole the recipe of? Well, sure. Well, sure, then you can pay for everything. But no, this Terracoon really knows how to treat me so just let me pay for it okay <laughs> what? how does a dinosaur make money <laughs> i regret voting for this what is this <laughs> you can't you can't take your vote back your vote matters and it matters here it always matters it's hard to tell from his face but he sounds really upset what should i do um let him pay for it a thousand percent um Insist on paying, ask him to pay half of the price, or give up and let him pay. Okay, we can go have these. I think we can go have these. Yeah, I agree, Miranda. Dropping a ukulele isn't that drastic, unless he literally threw it down, like he's at a rock show. I totally, I, I think, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm between two and three. I don't, I don't want to insist on paying because I don't care. Also, I just got deja vu and I feel like I had a dream like this or something. And I know that's weird to say because we're literally shopping for a ukulele with a dinosaur. But all things aside, that's not the strangest dream I've ever had. Um, I think we're going to, um, I think we're going to make him pay. If he insists... On if he does if he feels bad, why would I want to make him feel worse? You know, by making him right. Let's give up. You can pay for it. Sure, sure, sure. You go ahead. You're right. I should have thought about how you feel. <laughs> so you can put all your hard-earned dino cash down on the counter and pay. I'm sorry, Terracoon. Well, here's the deal. He'll pay for his own ukulele, and then I'll pay for. Well, I don't want to pay for his meal, so maybe I'll just pay for my food and then he can pay for his. I'll pay half of the meal, and it'll be my half. That's a good idea. It's alright, I'm glad you understand. Still, I feel like I should do something. Is there anything I can do to make up? <laughs> to make out with you? Sorry? <laughs> Those teeth are really shiny, and I want them in my mouth. <laughs> Ew, I... I feel no desire to even try to flirt with this dinosaur, and even saying that made me <laughs> really upset. Is this my face reveal? Oh my god, honestly, we do have a lot in common. I feel like maybe this is the closest thing to a face reveal that I've seen. Well, uh-oh, what is he gonna ask me to do? How about help me choose a ukulele? Good idea! How about that? And I'll treat you to lunch. Ugh. Okay, okay, you really don't give up, do you? His- he does have that jawline, though. <laughs> I'm 
not gonna lie. He's got that jawline, you know what I'm saying? You can't deny a jawline that perfect. Smash or pass? A uh, jawline means smash. Well, I did give up on paying for the ukulele. Oh my god, we get it, guys. We get it. We still, you want to pay for the ukulele. You want to pay for the ukulele. We get it. You guys don't want it. You don't want to decide who pays for the ukulele. Let's get on with the conversation. Fair point. All right. Our ukulele won't choose itself, will it? Let's go find one. Okay. <laughs> so annoying. Uh, Tara, you good? We spend our time looking for a ukulele that we both like. <laughs> I love when the gameplay happens uh, off screen without me. After looking through the store, we finally found a solid wood one. I don't even get to decide which one we're gonna get. <laughs> I think this. Is a okay, let's also not be too mean because this game is free. So I'm just, I'm just being an asshole here. Just gotta say that, put it out there. Okay, <laughs> the game is cute. Okay, okay, just have to say that. I'm just a jerk. Don't be a jerk, Jurassic. I'm an ass. In I'm the ass in Jurassic, and not in the cute you know, booty, <laughs> juicy booty way. I'm just an ass. <laughs> you would quit your job. Oh my God, the shopkeeper. <laughs> the shopkeeper is like, I don't get paid enough for this. I think I'm hallucinating. I've been working for too long. I think the size is a bit too small for him. Uh, you don't say? The size, something's a bit too small for some, so some other things aren't too small if you ask me. Just saying, I'm sorry, I'm just saying. But hey, as long as he's happy with it, right? Sure, Renosaurus. Literally, I could not care less. After that, we go to the park and have some grilled, chi grilled chicken there. Terracoon must really love them. He eats them really, really fast. He eats one grilled chicken. It's like eating a fleck, a fleck of cheese dust from a <laughs> from a Cheeto. That's what it's like for him eating a chicken. <laughs> Just the tiniest little. It's like in the Victorious episode where they lick the little, <laughs> the little water from the cap. It's like the barest amount of food for him. Oh, I didn't realize it's evening already. Neither did I. I guess it's time to go home, huh? I'll walk you to the station. It's painfully silent. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Rhinosaurus. That's very nice of you. We don't want a dinosaur walking alone at night. It's very dangerous for him. If he goes alone at night, who knows what's gonna happen? You're welcome. <laughs> well? Hmm? What's wrong? Bro, I gotta play some kind of music here. This is like... <laughs> This is hurting my life. What what music do I play? <laughs> I don't know if I have music that fits this on on uh, on hand here. This is pretty good. Okay. At I just the silence is too much for me to handle. What's happening? We are friends with a dinosaur and we broke his ukulele and bought a new one. That's literally the entire plot, okay? <laughs> okay. May I ask what you're gonna do after this? Oh my god, he wants to hit me up on a date? Okay, let's go. Oh, well... Not much, really. Tons of homework, tons of student association work. Loser! Loser! We're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. Say no, make him cry. No, I don't want to see a dinosaur cry. <laughs> the music is giving you KFC flashbacks. We gotta break that association then. This music is beautiful. I'm gonna say not much. Oh, here's the music. Not much, really. Why? Well, oh! <laughs> He's got a little blushing! Oh my god! Well, I was wondering if you could stay a bit longer? How much is a bit to you? A bit must be a lot. A bit bite into my bass. Sorry. I have something to talk to you about. Are you going to ask me out after we had one conversation in game? I, I love it. Of course. We're really just cutting corners. We're, no, we're beating around the bush, but the prehistoric bush. What's a bush in prehistoric times? We're beating around the cave. We're beating around the dinosaur egg. We're beating around- what the hell do they have in dinosaur times? We're beating around the Triceratops 
Yeah. <laughs> the Triceratops. He's gonna confess? Really? Th thank you. So, what do you want to talk about? It's like, I feel like I don't even know this guy. He's a dinosaur, that's all I know, and he plays ukulele. Well, it's about my fear of performing in front of many people. He gives you the ick. He's a dinosaur, so maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> I've never told you this, but I was never like this. Up until junior high school, that is. <laughs> You're so you were in juniors in high school. I see. What happened? Well, when my body was still small, it was easy for me to pick up a ukulele. Aww. During junior high school, I started growing bigger, and things weren't the same as they used to be. <laughs> I just... don't know what's going on. <laughs> During a concert at the school event, there was an accident. Oh no, what kind of accident? Someone tripped and hit me, making me drop my ukulele- WHY DO YOU DROP YOUR UKULELE EVERYWHERE?! Why is- how did somebody trip you? Who are you? Unless it's another dinosaur, nobody could possibly trip you. Like, imagine- <laughs> Imagine a dinosaur tripping, how embarrassing that is. They're like the scariest thing in Jurassic times. Imagine Jurassic Park scene where, where Alan's holding up the flare and the dinosaur comes running towards him and it trips. Like, that is not cool. This is major ick. I don't want to date anybody who gets tripped by a human as a dinosaur. And why you have a history of breaking ukuleles? This is upsetting me because they're not not durable. Like, where did you buy your ukulele that it broke so easily? I'm upset. I tried to pick it up, but I couldn't because your arms are small. <laughs> your arms are too small to pick up the ukulele. Why did you ask for help? Not with my tiny arms like these. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Trauma dumping. I never thought about the fact that T-Rexes have small arms. How could I... How could I... Let go of that... Serious issue. We should be talking about this more. Ukuleles were made for small hands, but... If you only have small arms, you can't pick it up out of the case. You can't do anything. How are you gonna reach it? This needs to be changed. I think we need to do a social, environmental, governmental order to change the way ukuleles are made. And I think that's the most important issue that we should be working on right now, and I don't understand why nobody's talking about it. Terracoon. <laughs> I was struggling, trying to pick it up. Sorry, that's so funny. Imagine him standing there just trying, <laughs> trying to pick it up, but he can't. It's funny. If people laughed at you, I wouldn't blame them. I'm sorry. But I only made things worse. The audience... <laughs> the audience started laughing. Oh. <laughs> but, like, they should. Like, I can't. Look at... Because... But then you should embrace it. Be a comedy act. A comedy dinosaur. Start an improv troupe. People would never expect that. Call yourself... Call yourself... Yes... Yes and Jurassic. Yes... Jurassic... Jurassic. It's, it's a, Just work on it. It's fine. You can do it. Giggles grew into hysterical laughter. <laughs> Laughters. It was horrible, to say the least. This is... <laughs> but now audiences around the world can laugh at you. And that's beautiful. You're bringing joy to people's lives from being... <laughs> All the worst words just went through my head and I had to filter them. From being... Small arm dino. Maybe they should make a nickname. My friend helped pick my ukulele up. But it was far too late. I couldn't move a single muscle. You know what's interesting about these games too? They never give me backstory. I'm always just getting backstory of everyone else. What if I have a fear of something and 
we never get that. I never get the full-fledged story. I just stood there. Frozen. Or you could say, fossilized. <laughs> Yikes. Maybe that's not a good word to use. Ever since that day, every time I perform in front of many people, I couldn't help but asking myself these questions. What questions? Who, what, what, where, why? Will I drop my instrument again? <laughs> what would happen if I did? Sounds like a test. Will they laugh at me? Okay, answer one, yes. Because you're clumsy, apparently. Answer number two, what would happen? Everyone will laugh. Will they laugh at me? Most definitely, and ten times as worse as last time. Uh... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have told you this before I agreed to perform. You should- I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, can I be honest? I don't care. Don't- don't care. No! You were really brave, you know? Knowing that you're scared, but you still tackle the problem head on? I admire you for that. Ugh. Get over yourself, Rhinosaurus. Get over yourself and your meat clip. Thank you, Rhinosaurus. He does have, like, those neck muscles, though. Like, the neck... Kind of look... Kind of... It's really weird, because when I perform in front of you, none of those thoughts ever cross my mind. That's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. Somehow, you're special. I'm not like other girls. I'm not like other girls. My dino friend can play ukulele in front of me. I'm not like other dinos. <laughs> Ew. Maybe it's because there was no human at your concert? Wait, am I he- wait! Wait, am I the only human living in a dino world? I didn't even think of that as an option! Is this a dino world? And I'm- I'm the minority here? I did not ex I was- this whole time I was like, this guy's the only dinosaur I've ever met. But no, I'm the one that's different. Maybe I am the pick me. Maybe I am special. We- I am YN! Wow! That's why me as an audience didn't remind you of anything from that event. Because there's like a dinosaur league of people who laughed at him. Why? If there's a dinosaur- Wait, this doesn't make sense! Because if it's a crowd- Why am I looking so much into this? But if it's a crowd of dinosaurs, wouldn't they understand T-Rexes have small arms? If it's humans, it makes sense that they're like, Haha, you loser. But I don't think any other dinosaur could play it, because they don't have arms like that. Like, they're walking on their arms. So really, the T-Rex... Really, that is mean, then. Because at least he can hold a ukulele in the first place. What is a... What is a... What is a... What is that? This is so weird! <coughs> Maybe. But whatever it is, I'm thankful for it. <laughs> Who picked it up for him? I have no clue. He probably abandoned it. He probably abandoned it. Just like, he's gonna abandon me. Or I'm gonna abandon him, actually, at this rate. I'm glad that it's you. No. Terracoon is making me blush. Ew. Why are you blushing? He said nothing <laughs> that would make you blush. He didn't compliment you. He co he He did it. Thank you for sharing this with me, Terracoon. And thank you for listening. And for giving me courage. What did I give you courage? You know, I just got an idea. <laughs> what? If you're worried about picking up your ukulele, I'll do it. <laughs> what is this? Why? Are you- am I his assistant now? Like, what? Huh? I'll do it! When you perform, I'll be there. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Do I not have a life? Do I not have anything I can do for myself? What is my story? Why do I have the time to be there whenever this guy performs? Is he a master ukulele person? Why? 
Why am I offering my services like this? Why? And if you drop the ukulele, I'll dive in, grab it, and throw it right back at you. What makes you think he's gonna catch it? That's crazy! Well, maybe the throwing part is, I hate myself in this game. I hate myself so much. The point is, you don't have to worry. I'll help. Uh, I'll burp in your face, that's what I'll help with. I'll help. You can count on me. Just one, two, three, dino. You and me. Rhinosaurus. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I. Ah! I feel like shaking the screen. I don't care about you. Just be careful and don't step on me when I'm picking up your ukulele, okay? In any other case, I would say do step on me, but this case... Uh, of course! I, I won't step on you! I know you won't. <laughs> I was just messing with you. You know what? We haven't actually tried that new ukulele of yours. I rolled my eyes so hard just then. I should have said you had homework. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have. Why didn't I have homework? Curse me. I would rather be doing French homework than be here. How about a song before we go home? Here? In the park? A free show, baby. Put your cap on the ground. Get some money. Get some cash. Well, there's nobody around but us. And even if there is, I'll show you how fast I can pick your ukulele up. I hate it here. So are you in? Oh, well... Okay. That's the spirit. <laughs> Wait, so if your name is Rhinosaurus and you're the only human, does that make you a poser? It, like, I changed my name to fit in. That's so sad. Oh my god. Like, this world is making me very upset. Oh. Okay. We're going to the park. Oh! Wait, that's me! I have a person body?! Terracoon was reluctant at first, but after his after that his tune was getting better and better <laughs> He's got his belly out his legs open We said we were doing one song, but we ended up doing many more. Are you kidding? I want to hear the ukulele song wait should I get my ukulele? <laughs> should I get my ukulele? It's not tuned hold on It was so much fun. I didn't really count I'm glad he shares his story with me today. He only wears a tie. He doesn't wear pants or anything. But if we're in a world... If we're in a world of dinosaurs, I, why is he wearing a tie? I'm so lost. I'm glad he, shares his story with, he shared his story with me today, and I'm glad that I can help him. This time, I'm sure he'll be fine. And the music club performance for this year, year's cultural event will be just fine. But I'll forget about that for now. Right now, I want to enjoy this moment with Terracoon. Is that the end of the game? He... Wait. All that he... All that he... His... The plot... All that... The plot is about how he can't... Hold the ukulele... When he plays... But how did he get the tie around his neck if his arms are so short? How is this... How is this worse than Colonel Sanders? I... I mean, I'll give it to them. At least it didn't have so much plot that I don't know what to do. There's more endings. Do I try to get the other ones? What's, yeah, what is the bad ending? Oh. Why? 
okay, we're gonna try to speed run and do a bad, bad. And then I do have had a boyfriend still downloaded. If we want to date birds, we can. Uh, my name this time is, 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 um, my name is. Jurassic. Okay, we're gonna be mean. All right, it's time to go buy ukulele. This plot, this plot. Maybe you should buy him a meal too. Come to think of it, isn't this the first meal? Now that makes me nervous. Better make sure I don't look funny. Okay, I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna. I am five, by the way. Yes. Okay, let's wear. Uh, let's wear the fossil one. I want to remind him of the fact that he could have died in another universe. This fossil-shaped hair clip should do just fine. All set. Now I'd better hurry and go meet him at the station. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh, there he is. Hello, Terracoon. Did I make you wait? Does he say anything? Not at all, Jurassic Bunny. <laughs> I've got here as well. So give it a bit of a Yes, let's go. Okay, nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. I forgot I have to click past the screen. I was staring at it for a second again because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's get you a nice ukulele. Wow, you really are fired up about this, aren't you? Okay, dude, nothing's changing. Oh, okay, so we had no conversation about the clip then. We had absolutely no conversation. It just was brushed past. Okay, should I offer to pay completely? I feel like I should pay. I should force him to let me pay. Because last time we did the opposite. So this time I'm going to say, no, I'm paying and you're listening to me. Because I am girl boss and I'm Jurassic buttock and I'm going to pay for everything. I'm insisting on paying. I will not let it go. I insist. I brought the situation up on you, which costs you your music instrument. I'll pay for it. End of discussion. I'll pay for it and that's it, you stinky bitch. Ooh. Terracoon is not happy. You know, maybe I don't need this after all. Bro. What do you mean? I don't need to do you completely I'm going home! What? Why? Goodbye, Jurassic Buttock. Why did he get so mad? Whoa! He dissipated! Oh, wait! Terracoon! He's gone. I don't understand. I was being nice. Why would he do that to me? Maybe I came off too strong? I should give him a call and apologize later. Terrible end! Wow. I... I don't understand why he would get so mad about me paying. Oh my god. Misogynistic dinosaur? I didn't expect this. Um... Well, this sucked. <laughs> this sucked. Do you think they still have a museum, but instead of dinos, they have human fossils? Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> that's, uh, I really thought that this game was going to be longer. And I think I shouldn't have expected that because it's free. So... I suppose we, <laughs> I suppose we, uh, it, that, and you know what's so funny? That game feels so much longer. Like, it feels so short, but also so long. Like, that was a whole 49 minutes of Jurassic Heart. And for what? For us learning that dinosaurs can't hold you <laughs> Um, yeah, that was definitely a game for sure. Um, I think <laughs> the stream's over. I think, uh, do we, do we, there's many options, um, that we could go for. <laughs> wow, that was something I, I don't think I needed to experience.
uh, in my life, but I did, and I did it with all of you, so I'm glad that, uh, we did that together. You know what? Let's be positive about this. I do think it's important to know that Derekun can't hold a ukulele. So, do we, let me, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. We can do, we can do, okay, one thing might not work, but I have Had a Full Boyfriend downloaded, um, which is the bird dating, or I maybe perhaps have downloaded Zoo Tycoon, <laughs> like the old game, and I don't know if it's going to work. But that's also an option. So we could do a dating simulator. Or we could save Zoo Tycoon for next week too. I do want to play that though at some point. I don't know if I'm going to play it on stream. But. <laughs> yeah I feel like. Maybe we should play another dating sim. To finally get a good one. You know like. I, I, we've been disappointed. So many times. I have. Uh, I, I said this before. But Had a Full Boyfriend I've played a little bit before. Um, but I don't really remember it. Don't worry, we can always play Zoo Tycoon. It looks like, uh, Hat of a Boyfriend's winning. So, I'm just gonna start setting that up. Don't mind me, I'm just doing things. Don't mind the man behind the curtain. Uh, I'm just gonna turn and open it and set up stream real quick. Set up stream on stream. Nothing like it, nothing like it. I think, um... Oh, there's a free game in Discord. I already have had a full boyfriend though, so I don't mind starting her up. Dude, this game is crazy. Oh man, had a full boyfriend. Dude, this game is so fun. Do do we like the setup where the game is with the chat on the side? Do y'all want to play it like that? I don't know if I can set that up right now. But I could try. How do we feel? Is there more than one option? Or is it like... No, How to Full Boyfriend has way more options. Let me try to... Hold on. Setting up stream things. This game is very loud. The Ratchelor. Do we do... Should I do another poll? Do you want me to add the rat one? <laughs> the rat one. I've never played the Ratchelor. I've never played that. Is it good? We could. Do I have to download it though? Okay, we'll do another poll. Okay. Last choice. Had a full boyfriend. Or the Ratchelor. How do you spell that? Dun, dun, dun. It's no download. Ooh, y'all, y'all really like the Ratchelor. <laughs> okay, let me figure this out. You're gonna have to give me a second. I gotta figure out how to do stream things. So. Just hold on one moment, please. Run game. You might hear music, so I apologize if it's very loud. Wow, this is a... This game is... Like... Big screen. I gotta... <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay, looks like the Ratchelor's winning. I'm gonna just quickly change the stream. <laughs> Let's date rats is the new title. Even though the thumbnail <laughs> is of a dinosaur. Okay, we're gonna, I, oh, okay. Thank you for calling me a rat, I really appreciate it. Okay, give me a moment here to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with this, <laughs> this game. Oh God, where is it? I don't even know where my game. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to put this game on. I need... I need the Ratchelor up. 
Why is it Okay, here we go. Let me fix this. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that this is a game that exists. The Ratchelor. I don't know if I can- let me see if I can fit it in here. I feel like I like seeing the chat. Just streamer things. XOXO. Okay, this should fit. Is this... Is this the entirety of it? Hold on. We're almost there. We're figuring things out. There we go. I think... I think that's it. <laughs> What is this? I think it might be a little bit bigger. Y'all ever want to be streamers? Because this is what you do. I don't know how some how a how a like a good streamer would do this. But this is how I'm doing it. So <laughs> Anyone got some good stand-up material they want to share while we do this? Hold on. Give me one second. I'm just gonna fix the screen. <laughs> Hello, fix screen, please. Hold on, this is more appropriate. Yeah, dinos are done. Now we're on the Ratchelor. This is something I've never played. This is something I've only heard of, like, in passing. For some reason, Google isn't letting me... Okay, I fixed it. It's It wasn't letting me move my game out, for Christ's sake. Okay, okay, okay. Now I- Oh my god. <laughs> what am I doing? It's not going well. I want to make sure the whole screen is in it for everybody. So I'm trying very hard to set it up so it's even and not annoying. Because if there's one sliver of it missing, I'm going to get very upset. If I was a rat. Would I date a rat? Okay, I think this is good. If I did I just say if I was a rat, would I date a rat? That doesn't make any sense, but it's fine. Okay. How is this? How do we feel? I think that's good. Okay, finally. I don't know if this does this have music? Let we'll find out, I guess. If I was a rat, I wouldn't date a rat. It hey, if the B movie can happen, anything can happen. <laughs> Rats can date humans if they want. Okay, here we go. The Ratchelor Embark. Ooh, meet yourself. <gasps> I'm the Ratchelor? Wait, I didn't know the Ratchelor was gonna be like the bat. I should have known. It's like the I'm the Ratchelor and I get to choose who to date? Wait, ooh, I'm having fun. This is gonna be fun. Hold on, what is this? Oh, this is the volume. Good, good, good. I think it should be up a little bit. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, which one am I? Um, okay, be honest. Which one am I? Uh, I think. Ooh, this maybe. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, honestly, this one's very whimsical, but it almost looks like it's doing yoga. So I would say no to this one this one's a little bit chill almost doing a pose also no i'm between these two i think i'm either just chilling is that and that looks like a monkey tail i think i think three three is maybe like like what am i doing am i laying back why are my feet in the picture like it's just a little let's do three onwards I'm the Ratchelor. I'm sorry. I don't think we're really getting into character here. I'm the Ratchelor. I'm going to be giving out roses to, <laughs> to fellow rats to date me. I think we really need to focus. What are we looking for in a rat? I think I'm looking for loyalty. I'm looking for commitment. I'm looking for somebody that I can joke around with. I'm looking for someone who doesn't take life too seriously, but also has goals and aspirations and is determined to follow those goals but not too determined where they don't pay attention to me but i don't want them to only pay attention to me because then that'll push me away but i also don't want them to be overly attached um because i get overly attached and then if we're both overly attached then we're codependent but i also want to make sure that they don't have too many uh other interests so that they don't like me i think that <laughs> 
Select your seven contestants. Let's just stop doing the toxic uh, dating. Toxic dating train. Um, Highness Lore. I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> okay, then we got Mig Mouse. My ideal rat partner is like Stuart Little. Automatically X. Automatically no. Automatically no. If you want me to be like Stuart Little, I die because Stuart Little is awful. L'artiste. Let's paint a beautiful future together, we. Oui? Uh, then we got Bora XIV. I can't read Roman numerals. Sorry, I was distracted by the moon. <gasps> That's so cute. I'm kind of tempted to change. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I kind of... I kind of like Boris so far. Um, Dr. Plagues? You could say I'm sick. With love. I'm... I'm not interested of in sickness. Or whatever the hell is on your nose. No, thank you. A real rat. Definitely a rat. What else would it be? What else would it be? <laughs> what else would it be? I th feel like maybe we should steer clear of that. Reggie231. Just a robot looking to learn what love is. That's sweet. Vim, you just can't quit me. Oh my god, looks like you, you, you remind me of Nick Cannon. So many children. Emacs, I'm complicated. It's complicated. Jagadoo. I don't slow down for anybody. See, this person's got goals. They've got a job. They've got a lot. They've got a lot to look forward to. Oh, day. Never underestimate the importance of a joyful overcoat. That's kind of sweet, Slim Jim. Put a s little sparkle in your life. Hold on, I gotta choose Slim Jim just because of that. Just because of that. Hyberdeen. Glip. What does that mean? Some of these people, where did they get these people from? They just got them from anywhere. Hempleton. Blueberries are seasonal, but I eat them every day. Aw, that's sweet. I like that attitude. You know what? Don't let the season stop you. Eat blueberries if you want to eat blueberries. And haughty thespool. Every rose has its thorns. Choosing you. I'm choosing you just for that line. Bear. I'm a big rat with a big heart. Wait, I love that too. Egg salad. Who? Me? Or Manilo? Hello. Like Barry Manilo? Oh, my love. I just can't Garrett. Do you like cheese? One of your Jerio? Oh, hi, hey, hi. Or Largathon? I like to think I'm reliable. I don't know. <laughs> if you like to think, maybe you aren't reliable. Um, who are the last two that we should choose? I don't know. Every rose has its thorns. I, I don't actually really know what that means. Okay, we've got... I'm not here to make friends. Highness lore. Maybe we should just add highness lore. You know what? Let's add... Let's add... I'm gonna add these two as the last two. Just... <laughs> just because... Oh, but definitely a rat is good too. Ooh. Definitely rat is I I feel like I should okay. Maybe we do Mig Mouse just for the meme because the Stuart little thing is gonna tick me off and definitely a rat a Real rat. Let's go. I think these are good choices. I'm ready. I'm the bachelor. I'm excuse me I'm the bachelor and I'm ready to rat tat 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 into the love rooms Chit chat. Oh my god What the hell is this? That's a coat. A real rat. Uh, no big deal, but did you know I actually starred in your favorite movie? Yeah, that was me. I looked different at the time, though. They did my makeup. Wait. <laughs> Wait, if someone's first thing that they say to you on a date is that they were in a movie, that's my favorite? That's a total lie. That's a lie. You're lying to me. I've looked at the IMDb of every single actor in every single movie that I like to watch. And I know everything about their life. So, I know that you're lying. Yikes, yuck, or wow. These are mean. These are, like, why is it, like, one side of the spectrum wow and then just awful things to say? This is just so... 
<laughs> this is so cruel. Why can't I just say like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, yikes. I don't want to say yikes, but <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh my god, Mig Mouse. Usually I spend all my time working out my last clues and delts. But taking a break from my workout is all worth it if I get to meet you. Don't look at me like that! Don't look at me like that, you Stuart Little liker. I know what Stuart Little is, and I know that he's a fraud. And if you like him, then I don't want any part of you. I just told you to come on a date with me so I could tell you that to your face. Then I'm not going to give you a rose. I'm not going to give you a rose, not even in the slightest sense of the word. I'm going to give you a punch to the face. And I'm going to pelt you in front of a car, an actual car. Not Stuart Little's car, it's a tiny car that just takes up space on the road that nobody wants in the way. The car that holds up traffic because he's a rat and there's no reason why a rat mouse man should be driving in a tiny car. He is a pet or he's a person and you can't choose one or the other. He's wearing pants and that's not natural. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's true. Stuart Little needs to get a life. He needs to let the cat eat him and live like a mouse does. Don't look at me like that. I hate everybody. Whoa. Oh, wow. I can, uh, barely see you, but I really like how the top of your head looks. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. You, your feet are so booty. Wow. I like bear. Oh, get out of my way. I'm not here to make friends. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I thought you were one of the... Actually, no. I stand by my words. I'm not here to make friends. Please get out of my way. I'm like, cool. <laughs> but someone's mean to me. Cool. <laughs> she hated that. Why are you here? Hempleton. I mean, I think all things are nice. My best friend's a ladybug, and I always bring him raspberries from the store. I appreciate you sharing. I value you, or yuck. Oh, I kind of like Hempleton. Oh, I think I'm going to say I, I appreciate you sharing. Thank you, my friend. Oh, I'm looking good today. <laughs> Wow, you're so different. I value you or yuck. <laughs> I mean, he's the only one who bought me a rose, though. He's the only one who bought me a rose. Wow, you're so different. <laughs> Ooh. I don't remember who any of these are. Bora XIV. Oh, what's this look? <laughs> What's this little yellow ribbon for? Never you mind. What is the ribbon for? What is the ribbon for? It's... Is it holding his head on? Why does it look like he has a third arm on his face? Are we... What is the ribbon for? Why did he have a smiley face? I'm frightened a little. Um... I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> Care for some juice? Um, why would I say I'm so sorry to hear that too? Oh, what's this Leo? <laughs> right? I wouldn't have questioned the ribbon either. Why did he point out the ribbon? <laughs> what if the ribbon is like a magical item that makes him a rat? But he's actually a, a landlord trying to get me... <laughs> Killed to not be in his building. Care for some juice that's laced with landlord of fire to see if you're a landlord. It outs you as a landlord by turning your pinky green. He fell for it. I don't know if he's a landlord, but he's definitely something. Choose five contestants to continue. <gasps> Who do I choose? Who do I choose? Oh no, I only have five roses. 
I, in my hands, I hold five roses. And sadly tonight, they will only go to five of you. And if my math is correct, two of you will then be eliminated. Who's it gonna be? Bora XIV? Bear? The other people that I forget the names of? I think we're gonna choose. My first rose goes to... Bear. You caught my heart in the first moment you sat next to me and I didn't even see your face and I just saw your toes. My next rose goes to... Blueberry guy. Hempleton. I really appreciate that you share with your friends. That's very important to me that you have friends. My next rose is going to a real rat. Because I'm just so intrigued by what the hell you are <laughs> and what movie you starred in, I must know now. I have two more contestants to choose. My next contestant is... The Stuart Little Lover. Because I need a reason to be hateful. I need drama. And you're the only one who's gonna give me it. And my last rose... Is going to go to... I have no clue. <laughs> Wait, I, I actually don't know. Who is it to? Who is it to? Everybody? My last rose goes to... Ribbon Guy. I must know why the ribbon's there. There's mysteries that must I must find. There's two people that are here for a real reason and the rest are just here for me to be picking on. So continue. You too, I'm sorry Slim Jim and I'm sorry Haughty Thespule. You must go home. Actually, you won't be going home. You will be executed as soon as you leave. Goodbye. Chit chat time. We're on the same couch. I'd love to get to know you better. My parents always taught me to treat others with respect and listen more than you talk. Look at me going on and on about my family. Of course she would be talking all the time because that's what Stuart Little does because Stuart Little has a little mouth that keeps going and going and going and no mouse should be able to talk like that. Because even in Ratatouille, he's a rat, right? He can cook, right? He's got all these powerful skills, but he cannot talk to humans because that is natural because rats aren't supposed to talk to humans. They can cook in a kitchen, but they cannot talk to humans. So why can Stuart Little talk to humans? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, and you're wrong. I can't imagine what that's like, though. <laughs> he did not like me. <gasps> Do you like music, too? You should meet the bandmates at some point. <gasps> you have bandmates? You're in a band? Cool. You know the way to my heart. Ooh. <gasps> I've worked at the grocers for a while. I like seeing all the regulars and helping them get their favorite berries. Garrett always asks me for my cheese recommendations since I know a lot about what's in stock. So, all you talk about is berries, then? All you talk about is, is berries? I can get with it. Um, I'm, I'm, you know what? That's... I am glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. And not working in the, um... Grocery store right now. Or... You're, you seem to really like your friend, though. I don't know if- you keep mentioning your best friend, and I'm sorry, like... I don't want to push any insinuations on you, but I feel like you're in love with your best friend, I'm just saying. Just letting you know, that's how I feel. Hey, Borax IV. I've been told these violet eyes of mine are more purple than all the lavender in the world. And I certainly smell better, too. Ooh! <laughs> Why are you just complimenting yourself? Though I will say our eyes, your eyes and my skin match. Maybe we're meant to be. That's nice. That's great. 
This is so weird. What is happening? A real rat. He wanted to learn about my work? Yes, sometimes I host Saturday Night Live. And also Wheel of Fortune and Dancing with the Stars. Ever seen Avengers by Marvel? I was the Avenger. <laughs> you were the event. You were the, uh, the the Avenger, the only Avenger in the movie, because everyone knows that the Avengers is just one Avenger in the whole movie. That's amazing. I'm so proud, proud that you got cast. That's amazing. You and you host every Saturday Night Live that there is. That's amazing too. Do you change your skin? Is that you, is that what you do? And Wheel of Fortune. What happened to, to Pat Sajak? Did you did you kidnap Pat Sajak? You can be honest with me. It's cool. We're, this is a safe space. This is a safe space, and you can tell me anything. Dancing with the Stars. You, you host Dancing with the Stars. I don't even know if there is a host for that. There's judges and dancers, but who's the host of Dancing with the Stars? I guess it's you. I guess you're right. I guess it's you. That's amazing. Wow, that's great. That's great. I'm so glad you can lie to me without feeling any regret. It's really amazing. Truly fantastic of you. Who gets a rose? Only four contestants continue? Here in my hands. <laughs> Here in my hands I have... Four roses. Four roses. And everyone knows that these... Roses are fake roses, so they will never wilt. So I could take as long as I want to decide what's going to happen next. I think you all know where I'm going with this. Four rats are going to continue on, and one rat is going to be left behind. The first rat I'm going to choose is one of my favorite hosts and Avenger. In all of, in all of the 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 Marvels Avengers, and that is a real rat. Thank you, a real rat. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yes, we can we can applaud. We can you you can applaud. You don't have to not. You can applaud. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Three more contestants will continue, and one of them will not continue. It looks like. My next rose giving person that I give them to, the rose that I give away, is going to be. Grocery Berry Rat. Thank you very much. You you are going to move on. Just because I, I appreciate the hustle. I appreciate I appreciate the the hustle that you give and, and, and that you love your friend and maybe are in love with your friend. Next, two roses left and a whole lot of cheese. Whoever does not get one of these two roses has to eat poison cheese before they leave. So don't be too afraid. The next rat that is getting a rose. This is so hard, you don't even understand. This is so hard for me to choose. I was never good at making decisions as a child. <laughs> As a child, I was never good at making decisions. And you would all know this if you asked me one single question about myself. But somebody here did mention me in their conversation. And that person that mentioned me. <laughs> that person was. diarrhea can I <laughs> the world really is like a one big diarrhea plate and so when you live your life and you go to the store and you have big ooey owie I'm gonna have diarrhea you should really buy these diarrhea pills these diarrhea pills are are called diarrhea diarpeolas and if you take them you will never have diarrhea again Here's a video of somebody dancing in the, the rain because they don't have diarrhea. This is what will happen if you take dire pillows. 
Please contact your doctor if you're taking diapillas. It can lead to death, death, and more death. And also, you will have an itchy stomach and an itchy ass. And your ass will also start to bleed a little bit. But that's normal if you're taking diapilla. Also, what's normal if you're taking diapilla is that your children will hate you. And your children will move on in life. And they will put you in a home. And they will hate you forever. And you will die alone. But diapilla will let it so you die alone and you don't have diarrhea in your little diaper. And that is where it really matters. Please contact your doctor before taking diapilla. The person I'm going to choose. <laughs> Two roses left. It's a very hard decision, people. I'm going to choose the person who has asked me a question. Or not a question, but has inferred that I can do an activity with them. And that person is... <sighs> need to sleep? When you need to sleep, sometimes you gotta... <laughs> sometimes a pillow is really tough. In the year of 2023, pillows are really hard to come by. Pillows are <laughs> pillows are really hard to find. If you get a bad pillow, then your neck is owie. And then at work the next day, you can't get your work done and you get fired. So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna, we're gonna give you a pillow that will never ever break. <laughs> because pillows break these days. Break, they break in half. Like spaghetti. Uh, this pillow is... <laughs> is 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 one of the best because you can actually use it to sleep you can put it under your head you can put it under anything you want you can use it to to lift up your legs if they're hurting you can put your neck on it you could put your you could put your toes on it you could put your booty on it you can lend it to a friend give it to a child babies can use this pillow and they won't choke on it they won't suffocate i promise you this pillow is called the pillow and it is very fluffy and it's like laying on a cloud but if you don't prefer laying on a cloud it's also like laying on a brick it actually has a controller and you click buttons that make you it, it changes into what you want it to feel like you can make it feel like you can make it feel like butter if you wanted to really slippery really slimy you can make it feel like um you can make it feel like a tissue it could be it, it could be you know what you can make it feel like air doesn't matter. It's your choice. Now, this is tested by scientists all around the world. It is also tested by many animals, and these animals have died now. But that the point is that it made the pillow work, and it made the pillow very good. And so this pillow, you can get this pillow for only um, $18.99, and that is in the currency of Yarbrough's, which is approximately $3 billion um, U.S., uh, this is really worth the cost. It is a new invention, and um, we hope you'll buy it at your local market store. Thank you, and have a nice time watching your regularly scheduled program. Commercials don't usually say this. I haven't watched cable TV in a long time. Anyway, here we go. The rat I'm going to choose is the one that I've wanted to choose all along that I've been wasting my breath on. And this rat is... Bear. Bear. You are one of the best. I hope to see your band if you make it to the final round. But we still have one rose left. And so we must choose. Is it Mig Mouse, the Stuart Little bitch? Or is it Borax IV, the strange creature? I think truly, as much as I love to be a hater, I think I must, um, I must decide. I must decide in this moment if I want to be a hater if, or if I want to solve the mystery of the, the yellow ribbon and the tiny, tiny ankles. I think that, um, I think that we need to choose 
I think I, I think I need to go with my heart. And I think what my heart is, is, is telling me is to choose the person that really matters to me. And that person is... Do you have heart failure? Because if you do, <laughs> if you have heart failure, it's actually scientifically proven that you are a loser. If you have ever suffered from heart failure, you're a loser. If you have ever wondered why your heart might hurt, if you have ever gone through heartbreak, you are a loser. Ever, ever been broken up with on the side of the road next to a McDonald's with a lot of people inside watching you eating their, uh, eating their apple pies and their McDoubles? It makes you a loser. And it makes you also heartbroken. So, that being said, uh, we think that your heart failure, heartbreak, and overall issues can be solved by uh, a simple, simple, um, it, it, it's really a simple tool. And that is um, not being a loser. If you just stop being a loser, you stop today. You need to go train to not be a loser. You need to go train to not have heart failure. And that's all that it takes. That's all that it takes. I think, I think truly, uh, and you know, I personally have gone through heart failure myself. I have been broken up with. Um, the McDonald's example was maybe too specific because that was mine. I was the loser, but I'm not anymore. So please, come to, um, come to Not A Loser Inc. And you can get your loserness sucked out of you <laughs> in manners that we cannot explain on live television. So, call this number on the bottom of the screen or um, cry about it and be a loser forever. It's your choice, really, in the end. And uh, that's all I got to say about it. Don't be a loser.com. <laughs> Sponsored by Squarespace. The last choice of a contestant will be... My voice cracked there. Someone left. Someone just left because my voice cracked. One of these contestants is like, Oh, damn, I hope they don't choose me. <laughs> I hope they didn't choose me. Um. This this person is uh, the one I'm going to choose. I actually, uh, I should have thought of this while I was doing the commercial break. I don't know who I'm going to choose. The person I'm going to choose is... I just realized that, that Mig Mouse has a heart tattoo on, on the arm. I think we are going to do... We. Oh god, I talked to myself in the... <laughs> As if I'm multiple people. I'm going to choose... Borax Ivy. I'm sorry. The Stuart Little One, the Stuart Little One needs to go. The Stu Stuart Little One, get the hell out of here. I don't want to hear you anymore. Yes. Get out of here. Eat the cheese and die. Get the cheese touch for all I care. We need to continue finding love. Borax IV. When I see you, I see all the stars of the world. A constellation of thought and love and joy. Wow. That's beautiful. Let me give you some more of this anti-landlord juice to make sure that you actually mean what you just said. Here you go. Hempleton. When I was a kid, me and my siblings used to climb the fence and tend to our neighbor's garden before she got home each day. She won biggest cucumber at the county fair and we were so proud. That's a very sweet story you shared with me. I, uh, I'm glad you're here, I guess. Why did I choose you again? <laughs> you work at the grocery store, maybe you can get me a discount, you think? Maybe? I, I, I mean, I don't want to be mean to you. I, I still am, I'm glad you're here. I just, I think you're, you're going to go next time. Sorry. You're sweetie pie. You're sweetie pie, but. Oh. Hey, on a more personal note, I've been thinking a lot about a moment in my childhood when I lost my tail. I mean, it, it's emotional for me. It, um, got caught in a trap. And it was torn right off. My mom took care of me, and and it grew back. That's that's what I'm actually looking for in a partner. Someone who will be there for me when I need them. 
Wow, a real rat. I'm really astonished by the fact that you can really come up with a monologue on the spot about how you want me to be your mommy. <laughs> it's really inspiring, especially from an Avenger like yourself. I <laughs> That's so crazy. Where is your tail, by the way? You said it, it grew it grew back? So where did it grow? Is it the thing on your face? Why are you... What are you really? What is... You know, that's amazing. Wow. That's great. Oh. I used to be a lab rat. They were experimenting on me with growth serum. Until one day I had a growth spurt and got bigger than my cage, so... They kind of just let me go whenever I wanted. Jeez. That's, like, really sad. You were a lab rat? Oh my god. Um. What do I even say to this? I don't want to say wow. I, I don't want to say wow you're so different. Because that's kind of sad. I kind of was like, I can't imagine what that's like, but I don't want Bear to not like me. Yeah, who was experimenting? What? Uh, whose basement are we in, by the way? Whose walls are we in right now? <laughs> Having this, uh, this Ratchelor TV show, whose walls is this airing in? And is it... Is it, like, live stream for free? Because I'll watch it back later. Um, I'm gonna say, I can't imagine what, what that's like. <gasps> See, we're sympathetic, we're empathetic. Who gets a rose? Three contestants will continue. In my hand. <laughs> In my hand, I have three roses. Only three of you will get these roses. And I cannot legally say what will happen to the fourth person who does not get the rose. So, that being said... Let's give the rose to the most obvious person that we know is going to uh, pass pass this. I'm going to give the rose to Bear. Bear is getting the rose because Bear has my heart. Not, not yet. Don't give up other people, I swear. Bear is going to get this... This rose. The next rose. I only have two left, people. Can you count? There's three left and I only have two. So that means... One of these roses is going to... A real rat. That's right. I'm sorry. I forgot I forgot to let people applaud. How dare I, right? Everyone do another applause for Bear, please. Thank you. A real rat. Uh, the mystery is still not solved, and honestly, even if you aren't a rat, I do like the fact that you can lie on the spot, and hopefully you can lie for me, and lie to people and say that I'm also an actor, and I have starred in many films and also won many Oscars. And that being said, there is one more contestant. Someone that really has gotten to me, that has grown on me, that I love. I think the one who's going to stay is Bora. Bora XIV. I'm so sorry, Templeton. It's just Bora got me with that line about, you know, being the stars or whatever he said. It was great. It was very nice. It was very nice. And so, I'm so sorry, Hempleton. You will now... Redact it. You will redact it. Chit-chat! Ah, to be free and to dance. If I could be anyone, I'd be the ocean. Everywhere at once and nowhere. Dancing freely with the waves as the moon pulls me to and fro and the seagulls peck at my ears. Ah... Nothing quite as lovely as the sandy salt scent of sea breeze as the sun sets. Oh my god, the amount of S's in that is like so annoying. As lovely as the sandy salt seat set to the sea sad seashells on the seashore. Wow, you're so different and poetic and beautiful 
He is giving Elliot for sure. Oh my god. Bora loves me? Telling you my personal story last time felt really good. I want you to really know me. I've never felt right in my own skin. Ever since I was a little rat, I felt different from everyone else. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. You're so attractive and I'm just me. And the other rats have so much to offer. Feels like I'm in high school again. Oh my god. I can't imagine what that's like. <laughs> Not being attractive? Who? Who? Me? No way. No. Okay. This is a little bit weird because it's like pitying yourself. And it's like, you need to love yourself, babe. You need to love yourself. You have low self-esteem. And I don't know. I don't know. I, I could say you've been through so much. I don't know. This is kind of... I really want to know who you are, but if all you're going to tell me is how sad you are, I mean, that's something we could work through together, but I, I really also just want to know <laughs> what you are. <laughs> Can you just tell me? Okay, you've been through so much. Oh my god, you literally love me. Sometimes I like to go to the auto shop and watch them work on cars. Once I drove there, but my car was too small and they stepped on it. <laughs> Thought it was a Hot Wheels. It's not, though. It runs on renewable energy. See, this is the kind of car that Stuart Little should have. This is what should have happened to Stuart Little's car. I think that he's cool. Because it runs on renewable energy. I bet you Stuart Little runs on other mouse bodies like he doesn't care because he's like a talking mouse with a family and the rest are just no his, his car actually probably runs on the orphans that didn't get chosen at the freaking orphanage wow you're so different oh no he didn't like love me though <gasps> who gets a rose i can only choose two people i i i don't know i think um the, the pe pe person, the, the rat I, I choose. I'm, I, I have two roses in my hand. And uh, the, the rat I choose. Uh, um, I don't know. The company, the company can't afford to go to commercial again. So you just have to hear the rats were panicking. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, because <laughs> the company can't afford to go to ad break as if they don't get money from the ad breaks. <laughs> um, okay. The person, one person that I'm going to choose is a real rat. I think a real rat. I want to know who you are. As for these last two, I have no idea. Bear kind of lost me a little bit. But Bora is very much like Elliot. Very like poetry. Are you even really saying anything or are you just trying to use big words? Poet. Um... What do we choose? Bora or Bear? The two bees. I don't know. Oh, imagine breaking Elliot's heart in the last round. But Bear. You know what? Bear, as much as I really connected to you, as much as I liked you, I don't think you like me. You didn't give me hearts. The others gave me hearts, and I can't be with someone who doesn't feel the same way. And so for that reason, I'm choosing Borax IV. I'm so sorry, Bear. You're going back to the lab. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. That's so bad. I'm so sorry. That was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. It's time to chit chat. Imagine if we were planes in the sky, like stars, so large yet far away. 
yet bright. Beautiful, the muse of poets, they'd all write about us. Maybe they already have. Have you read about me? What? Read about you? What? Wait. <laughs> you were, and you're talking about us and we. Aren't you supposed to be like, telling me I'm beautiful? <laughs> I don't know. Should we say yuck or do we say yes and then... <laughs> Poor is just high. Dude. Are you ever going to tell me what, what the ribbon's for? <laughs> um... Yuck or yuck. That's kind of a yikes. That's kind of a yikes. I don't want to know. I don't want you to ask me if I've read about you. Yikes. <laughs> Crying! <gasps> I think it's finally time for me to show you the true me. I lied about my job. What? <gasps> I've never been on TV. <gasps> I don't know what a TV is, if I'm honest. <laughs> I have a horrible secret to tell you. Promise you won't leave me after you find out. Ugh, I can't do this. I'm too afraid. I appreciate your vulnerability. Don't even look at me or I value you. We knew a real rat was lying the whole time. We knew. I knew you weren't on TV. I just went along with the lie because I... If, if this is something you're passionate about, lying, then I'm here for you. I appreciate your vulnerability. I value you or I appreciate your vulnerability. Oh. It's just. It's just what do we say? What's a better. I value you no matter what you are. And that's the truth. <gasps> Why are there three different people in love? Oh god, we're choosing! Ah! Choose your soulmate! My soulmate. In my hands, I hold a rose. And this rose is going to go to the person that is my soul soulmate. Whatever that means. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. This is the moment that I came on this show for. I was lost in life. I was lost in love. But now, I'm here. And so I'm going to choose the person that deserves this rose more than anyone else. The person that will not be sent away. The person that will be with me for the rest of my life. And that person is going to be is going to be it's going to be <laughs> how many times can I say it's going to be the music is telling me what to do. And that choice was made for me from the very start. That choice is one that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. That choice is Making choices is hard. So why don't you just let us do it for you? If you want to make a choice, then you don't have to anymore because I'm here. My name is Dr. Choice, sir. And I'm here to tell you exactly what to do with your life. Sign up with the, the website at the bottom of the screen and you will get to come on my show and tell me every problem that you have in front of a live audience and the audience at home. And when you do that, I will humiliate you in front of everybody and I will make you feel so bad for not knowing your choice that you'll wish that you never had a choice to begin with, which is the whole point, because I will be making the choices for you for the rest of your life. And if you choose this, uh, you will be giving liberty over to me 
and to the uh, showrunners to advertise your miserableness to the rest of the world and you will also be signing over your right to make any choice ever in the future we have recurring segments on this show and so if you uh, come on this show you will be on this show forever every choice of your life will be live streamed on this show and uh, you will become a recurring character if you're okay with this which you should be because otherwise what's the point call the number on the screen and remember a choice is not really a choice unless I'm the one to make it. Thank you, and good night. The choice I'm going to make here. <laughs> it is. It is. The person. I hover over is a real rat. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're proposing. I'm proposing to a real rat. I'm proposing. Because... Even though I came on this show to find love with a rat, I found love beyond that. Beauty and fate. Hopefully not another commercial break. Let's propose. <gasps> Will you marry me? <laughs> oh! Uh. in a costume. We're so sorry we lied to you all this time, but we were afraid you would reject us. <laughs> we're also sorry that we lied about our job. We just wanted to impress you so much. But we saw your picture. We just knew we had to meet you. We fell in love instantly. <laughs> and after getting to know you more, we've fallen even more in love. We love you so much. Well... They're looking kind of slick. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of looking kind of... Their eyes are very pretty. Their eyes are very pretty. I stand by my choice. Thank you very much. Epilogue. Where are they now? What is the love like? Oh, these are the other people? Oh my god. Someone went off to the moon? Is that Mig Mouse? You frick, of course you would go to the moon. Create pollution for the world. Slim Jim stars in Stuart Little 5 and achieves fame. Boo. Good thing I didn't choose you. Boo, you suck. You suck. You suck. Loser. Lartis finds artistic inspiration in Bear. That's kind of sweet. Manello and Hadi Thespiel bring out each other's strengths. Mig and Odie are in love? Oh, this is Mig. Oh my god. Jerry and Reggie 231 heal their hearts. What happened to the to the, the ribbon guy? Wow. What? <laughs> I think we made the right choice there as well. Wow, that was good. Mm -hmm. Good ending. Good rats. Good fun. Damn. Wow. Love finds a way, huh? <laughs> Love finds a way. What is that? <laughs> the ribbon rat probably took off the ribbon and, and just turned into air. Or rain. <laughs> we did it! Applause, applause, applause! It was better than Jurassic Park. Yay! We got married! What do we do now? <laughs> the dinos were worth this. That's true. The dinos were worth this. That was a beautiful, beautiful story. I do enjoy very much. If only, um... The Ratchelor was... They made a Ratchelor game for every single type of... 
animal. Like, we've got the bachelor, we've got the ratchler. Where's the crotch- the crotchler? <laughs> the crocodile bachelor, of course. There's a ratchler too? No, there is? Is it good? Should we try it? The ratchler too? I don't know if we should start How to Full Boyfriend because it's- it's long. I think it's a long game. So, whatever we do now... Should be something similar in length. The Ratchler. Let me see if the Ratchler 2 is. This music is so good. Okay. Here we go. Let me see if I can find it. The Ratchler 2. Season 2? <gasps> it is a real thing. No way. Season two? We gotta see The Ratchelor season two. It's loading. No way. Oh, it's pretty. Hold on. Let me show. Let me show. Here it is. The Ratchelor season two. Let's go. We can embark on the journey. Welcome, everybody! Welcome to The Ratchelor Season 2! We know you all binged the last season. They found love, but now we will find a new Ratchelor and a new love. And hopefully, they will end up happy together. But we will see if that is true. Let us embark on the journey! Meet yourself! Okay, we're, we're a new person. <gasps> Ooh! A single rat looking for love. You will meet many, many rats and choose who to keep round after round until you try and find true love. Okay. I kind of feel this one immediately. Um. So I'm choosing this one. Look at the pearl necklace. Two hats. I've got two top hats. Two. It's so fancy. What, oh, but one is kind of... Wait. One is kind of cute, too. Oh, but so is this one. Four is up to something. Four is mischievous. Two... Ooh. One... I think one is kind of... <laughs> One is- maybe two is what I want to be, but one is what I am. Abraham Lincoln Rat G, I hope- I hope not. Let's pull. Let's do a pull. We're doing a pull. Which rat? Which rat am I? One, two, three, or four. You all choose for me. Go on. Do your worst. Ooh, people are- ooh, what is the choice here? Two is winning now. Be honest, is it because I said that? You don't have to listen to me, okay? What do we think? It looks like two is winning. She does have two hats, like... It's kind of- you can't- You can't beat two hats. If one had two hats, I would choose one. Right? I think that's... <laughs> Why is two winning? I think two's winning because I said it at first. Maybe. They're all kind of... I'd say one or two is what I'm between. But two won. So I'm gonna be two. It is what it is. The Ratchelor season two is... Fancy Pants Rat. That's what it is. Onward we go! Meet your suitors! Oh, what... Pisces? Oh, were you looking at me? Oh, wait, they're named after- <gasps> They're named after zodiac signs? No. Oh, oh no, they're- they they just have their zodiac signs. <gasps> oh, this changes everything. 
This changes absolutely everything. Because this is very important. There are some signs that I avoid, okay? So that will play a part in this. Hey, I don't judge a person by their sign. I'm just saying it's something you have to think about. Okay. We got Zippy, Aries. Trying something new with my socks. What? <laughs> okay. Le Pix, Aquarius Squeak. Oh my god, cursed. Absolutely cursed. Cursed. Fizzy wig, Libra. I have a belly ache. <laughs> oh. Moon Cancer. Oh, hi. Do you like plants? Wait, Moon is kind of cute. I kind of love Moon. I'm choosing Moon. Eggs, Gemini. Back in the lab tomorrow. Oh my god. Doing Gemini is wrong. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Why is Gemini going in the lab tomorrow? Boy, boy, Mysterio, Scorpio. Bada bing, bada boom. Of course, we're choosing that because if I get to do that accent, I gotta choose it. Baron Hot... Baron... Why does he Baron? Baron Hotlands, Gemini. Can I help you scheme? Jesus! Geminis get the worst rep in the world. Modern... Moderna? Taurus? Hey man, cool vibes. I kind of love Moderna too. Sharpie Scorpio. I stream on Tuesdays and Sundays. That works perfect. I stream on Mondays and Wednesdays. We won't have, we won't have, uh, we won't hit each other's stream. <laughs> stream schedules. We can work, we can work around each other. That's perfect. I gotta choose Sharpie. Martine. Oh, you looking at me? Klaus von Maus, Aries. You're my kushal bar. I'm sorry, I can't say that word. Kushal bar? Empire Virgo. Hey, cutie! Esh Aquarius. Bzzz. Padalico Leo. Dream big, style bigger. Ooh. I feel like Ghost Mouse has to come. Celery is a Sagittarius. What's cooking good looking? Ew! Aim is an Aries. Check out my cool moves. Sim, Samo, Virgo. Watch out, be careful. S Sean, Sean, Gemini. Come fly with me. Fly with me. Fly, let's fly away. Ultra Rat 3000. It's 2022? What the hell are these people? Peterson. It's very nice to meet you. Or Sminny. Capricorn, can I add you on LinkedIn? <laughs> no, absolutely not. You cannot. I kind of like, I kind of like celery because celery is a cook, right? Okay, I need three more. I need three more. Maybe we should take, maybe we should take, uh, oof. who do we want? Who do we want? Something new with my socks, squeak, bellyache, back in the left. <laughs> I got I got to take I got to take a Gemini. I got to take a, at least one Gemini and I feel like maybe come fly with me or I got we got to take eggs. We got to take eggs. We should have at least one of everybody. So I've got Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe Sagittarius. Oh no, I can't take everyone. Oh no, I need to choose one person, Taurus. I do like Moderna, kind of. Oh. I do like Moderna. <laughs> There's too many. Can I be scheme? There's too many. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't take Moderna. And maybe I should take... Mm. Okay. Let's just go with what we've got. I can always do another playthrough and choose the other one. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's too hard. There's so many good options. Like, I'm so tempted to take the LinkedIn one, even though I don't want to. <laughs> and the scheming one. But eggs. Okay, we're gonna do this, okay? Chit-chat time. Hello. Wow. Hi. I knew you'd be beautiful, but I didn't expect you to be so gorgeous I could barely think. Wow. Sorry. I promise I'm not always this awkward. <gasps> Makes me key. Okay. I value you. I value you so much. Ooh, that's really cute. 
Wow, this pillow! Very fragrant and a nice mouthfeel, medium rare. Ah, this candle holder! Now this has notes of fine rosewood and a hint of lime. That's a lot to consider. Or wow, you're so smart. Or I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Literally, celery is just eating everything in front of me. Please don't eat one of my hats or my pearls because I will kick you out. Uh, literally kick you out. And I hope you will get hit by a car. Um, that's a lot to consider. Uh, you liked that? Oh. Boy, boy, miss. I forgot that I chose this one. Boy, boy, Mysterio. Bada bing, bada boom. It's me. I'm here. Or am I? Maybe I'm over there. <gasps> Maybe I'm everywhere or nowhere. Either way, I might be here, but you're definitely here because I see you with my eyes. You have a way with words. <laughs> You've got a way. He has a way with words, guys. I like him. What a way with words. <gasps> Do you play video games? I play a lot of games on my phone and my Tamagotchi. I always have to be ready to flee at any moment, so I only purchase easy to transport items. Why? I don't appreciate that or don't worry. Why? These options are so weird. Don't worry about what? I love the outfit though. I'm not gonna lie. I love the outfit. I'll say why? I don't think that you're gonna answer if I say why. Why? I don't- I'm gonna say don't worry, I guess. Don't worry. So weird. Weird conversation. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I see what they meant when they talked about you. Well, I have to make my own opinion, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eggs. Eggs. You know what, eggs? I'm so glad- I'm so proud of you, and I'm proud that you're standing fully on the couch. You're not sitting, you're standing on the couch. I'm so proud of you. So proud. Oh. Why did you eat that? <gasps> Moderna. Hey ho, Coolio. You look like you'd play a mean tune on the tambourine. I mean, your whole vibe is rocking my world right now. Damn. I think Moderna's the type for some juice. I think Moderna's the type for some juice, am I right? If you know what I'm talking about, Moderna takes some juice. Whoa! <gasps> She loved the juice, I was right! Wait, are you talking to me? I can't believe it. You could actually see me? Most people just look right through me. I know what you mean. <laughs> Being like, this is a literal ghost, but me taking it as, yeah, I know what you mean. People ignore me too. It's hard living in a world like this, in this society, you know? This society is so hard on people like us, am I right? It's just so hard. I know what you mean. Ooh! Who gets a rose already? <gasps> Only five get to continue? Wait. I can't choose this. This is so hard. The first person that I'm choosing to get a rose. It's the first person I ever met in this whole this whole game. And that person is Moom. Moom came in with the greatest compliments ever. And for that reason, you get a rose. The second person that I'm going to give a rose. God, this is so hard. The second person is... You. Boy, boy, Mysterio. Bada bing, bada boom, you know what I mean? I gotta keep it going. I gotta keep it going, I can't let it stop, alright? The next person that's gonna get the rose, I don't freaking know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know who to choose. I feel like, uh, the next person might be... The next person might be... I'm thinking... The next person to get the rose is going to be... You know what? I think my mouse just chose for me. Pun not intended. I think Martine is, is, is going to take the next rose. There's two people left. Two people left. I need to drink water. Oh, God. I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to choose. Okay. 
I know someone who's not getting a rose for sure. But I don't know who else to not get the rose. I the way the ghost holds the rose takes up the entire body. Um To be completely honest with you, I don't remember Egg's conversation. But I feel like I want to keep eggs. And I I can only keep two though. God, this is hard. This is hard. This is like harder than the last one. I don't know who to choose. I as much as I like I like Moderna's outer, like, design. Okay, the next person who's gonna get a rose is... Eggs. Eggs is getting a rose for Vibe. For Vibe alone. And the last person that's gonna get a rose... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think I'm gonna have to go... ...with a... ...Scorpio. Sharpie is gonna be the last one to get a rose. I'm so sorry. Celery was the obvious no. Moderna was hard, because I really like the design, but... Even Sharpie was kind of questionable for me. Let's continue finding love. Let's not think about our choices and let's just go. More chit chat. Oh, these? These are some new plants that I'm growing. I carry them in my arms because the nutrients in my fur act as a natural fertilizer. The warmth from my heart makes sure my plants grow big and tall with lots of love. That's so sweet. That is so sweet. I mean, I would love to hear more about that. That is so cute. Wow, you actually have a really calming presence. I feel like the most other rats are screaming at me before I even sit down. But that might be because I'm sitting in the wrong seats. Anyway, you seem cool, but I have to keep thinking about it. Oh my god. I would love to hear more about you thinking about if I'm cool or not. Also, you look like a germ. I'm sorry if that's mean. Maybe Egg shouldn't stay. Maybe Moderna should have stayed. Damn it. Hey, hey, hey. Now you see me. Now you don't. Poof. What do you know? I'm a part of the show. Follow me for all the updates on the hottest clubs around. From the hottest square dancing to the smoky lounge. I got your knife life covered. I know the perfect spots for new lovers. I totally understood everything you just said. And I love you, boy boy Mysterio. I love you. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure how I wound up in this contest. I was having a lovely conversation with a raindrop. Entirely. <laughs> that would get me. <laughs> and suddenly a gust of wind sucked me into the pipes. Thank you for choosing me. It means a lot. me dude bro that's so funny um i value you thank you for opening up to me or thanks for being here thank you know what thanks for being here martin <gasps> when chrome dino came game came out you bet that was all over that game i said world records no one really noticed though being so invisible and lonely felt like i was being knifed in the heart by a knife Jesus Christ. Thank you for opening up to me, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for opening up to me? Oh my god. She loved that. Who gets a rose already? Four? Oh, choosing four is easy. I feel like I already know... Well... This is kind of hard. This is kind of hard. 
Oh god, there's only four. Sharpie bought up dinos? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. That takes her definitely down for me. I love the outfit, though. But style isn't everything. The first person that I'm going to give one of my four roses to is the one that we all know. The one that makes me laugh. And that one is Martine. Martine gets a rose. Thank you very much. The next person who's going to get a rose... Is the person that, uh, I think genuinely is really sweet. And that is Moom. And now we have two more contestants to choose, and I can just honestly do it immediately, but I'm gonna keep, uh, dragging this out as if, <laughs> as if I need to. The next person who's going to get a rose is the person that I enjoy talking as. And that person is... Bada bing, bada boom, about the clubs and all that crap. You know, it's good to have a wild card in there. Someone that you wouldn't expect to find love with, right? The person that you wouldn't expect. And now there's two more people. And honestly, it could go either way. Eggs told me that I might be cool, but he's not sure. So, I don't know if that's a good choice. But then, Sharpie... Bought up dinosaurs, and also talked about how sad it was that she didn't get recognized for records or something. I don't know. I mean, that's valid. It's valid to not be recognized, I suppose. But is recognition all you need in life? Shouldn't you find joy elsewhere? And so, I'm a little bit conflicted with this last rose. I don't know what to choose. Eggs just has commitment anxiety. Eggs is so young. Do we know anyone's age? What is the truth? Is this going to become... CSI? I don't know. I really don't know. Sharpie? Or eggs? I can't tell you the truth. I can't tell you the answer. I don't know if I should keep the Gemini around. This is not my my uh, flavor of Gemini. This is not uh, who I am. But Sharpie... You know what? I'm going to choose <laughs> Dramatic I'm choosing Sharpie I'm choosing Sharpie I'm sorry eggs If you don't know if I'm cool I don't know if I could choose you We're moving on Who's first? Bada bing bada boom I don't know if you've looked at my like stab on Twitter yet But I am prepping for a really big bet Me and my, my rat pals are getting information at the club We are the next sensation Just as Baron Hotlands and Yagadu We are professionals Mystery is what we do What the hell is he talking about? That makes me think <laughs> That makes me think about how much I wish I wasn't in this conversation Mmm <gasps> Martine! Oh god, the yawns are attacking me. People think being a ghost would be fun, but it's kind of lonely, actually. I mostly just fly around and visit people who are happy and in love. I've always wondered what it's like to be in love. <gasps> Dude, I understand you. I also fly, I fly around and notice when people are in love. Wow. Wow, thank you for inviting me on another date. Can I tell you more about my hobbies? Every once in a while I find a worm when I'm gardening, and sometimes the worms are sick. That's why I started my worm rescue, where I heal sick worms. Wow. That's so cool. That's so she's so cute. You're so cute, Moom. Um What is the right answer here? I can't imagine what that sounds like. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. 
I think Moom is so precious, but I don't know. Nowadays, I'm playing Rad Impact, and I stream sometimes if you want to tune in. Um, not that I want you to, though. You should just do it if you're curious. Don't be... Okay, now you're plugging your stream. Uh, kind of rude, because I'm streaming right now, and I don't know if I want to share the wealth with <laughs> stream views. Because, obviously, we're all competing against each other for views here. So, I don't know if that's something you should share. Should I tip you? That sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. I'll, you know what, I'll watch, you. I'll watch your stream. I'm not gonna watch the stream. Who gets a rose? Three are gonna continue. <laughs> I didn't even do that time. I didn't even do a little, a little wait. No, I'm sorry. Look, Sharpie is, is, is about, it's gonna go as well, but I... Like, the last two conversations with Boy Boy Mysterio, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> so, I am regretting getting rid of Moderna. I'm so sorry, Kira. I know that you wanted Moderna to stay. I should have listened to you. But, um, yeah, this is, this is the, I'm sorry. I didn't even wait for that one. I could have, I could have done a ten minute questioning of who to choose, but I just, no, sorry. Okay, this is really hard decisions. When I first started streaming, I didn't have much of an audience, but I started streaming a game called Dink <laughs> Dink and Rappa, and my channel really took off. Now I have a small community of regular followers who all know each other. I used to be alone, and it's changed my life. Sometimes I still feel alone, but I'm always alert. Can't let my guard down, and I know I'm never alone. Ghosts. You know, I get it, dude. I get Sharpie. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the fact that me and Sharpie are too similar. Maybe it wouldn't work. I appreciate you. I, I feel like I could be Sharpie's friend. I'm friend zoning Sharpie. I'm not gonna lie. I am friend zoning Sharpie. But thank you for opening up to me. Ugh. Mm. I just got back from tending to the worms, and guess what? The worms threw a party for me. I can't believe it. They've grown so strong, and I get overwhelmed by how amazing they are. They sang a worm song about me. They make sound by rubbing their worm bristles against each other. It's very quiet, but it's there. You want to meet them? They would love you. Um, like, if I were a worm, though, would you love me? Also, are you in love with your worms? I feel like maybe you're actually in love with a worm. I don't, I don't really know, I really like Moom, but I'm like, what's actually happening, you know? Y yeah, sure, I'll meet your worms, why not? I can't be mean to these people. Do you like to play chess? I've always thought it seemed like a lot of fun, but I, was, I never was able to wrap my mind around all the patterns. Maybe we could help each other learn. Oh, that's sweet. I do, I do play chess kind of, maybe. Sure, that sounds like fun. Sweet. Who gets a rose and we only get two? Oh, God. You know, it's so interesting. How difficult choices are, huh? <laughs> I can't do it. If only there were commercial breaks. But the Ratchelor Season 1 made so much money that they don't need any more. And so... I'm going to choose my first rose is going to Martine. I'm surprised by how much I like Martine. Sometimes the sign is not someone I get along with, but there's always exceptions, right? And while I like Sharpie to an extent, I just... I don't think...
I don't think we get we don't think we get along right. I think um even though Moom is so obsessed with worms, Sharpie's obsessed with streaming. I suppose I get it though, because it is all I think about as well. Is it enough to love someone though? Is it enough? It's not. Boom. You're the choice. <laughs> That's so mean. Um. To chat. Hey, Moom. Guess what? One of my flowers bloomed. I must really love you because all of the love from my brain got sucked into this flower and it now is a beautiful blossom. I've never felt this way before. So calm and so loved. <gasps> thank you. Or thank you. Like, is that a weird thing to say that said someone says they love you? Oh, I see the flower! Wait, that's real. <laughs> that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. But, is there, do we have enough chemistry or is it just, is it one-sided? Maybe we need to be someone who... Who can we connect with on another level? I'm gonna say thank you. Oh God, Martine. There's ser very something. There's very something. Hello. There's something very important you need to know. If you choose to be with me, our true love will set my spirit free. <gasps> what? My soul will leave this planet and take its place among the stars. I love you, and if you love me the way I love you, then you'll let me go. What? What? Wait, I'm confused. Are you asking me to choose you so that your spirit is set free, or are you asking me to not choose you so that you live? Wait, that is so sad. <laughs> Love that for you? Don't worry or not? What the hell? Oh my god. I don't understand the math. The math. I can't. I can't. I can't understand the math. Am I supposed to choose you? Okay, I'm gonna nod. This is... so sad? Because I'm not... I'm choosing my soulmate, but not to live with them. I'm choosing them so that they can be free. Because we all know I'm going to choose Martine. I can't believe I'm choosing Martine. I never thought that I would, but this is the love that needs to be free. Martine, it's time to set you free. Goodbye. Forever. <gasps> You're someone I didn't expect to love. You're someone I didn't expect to love. And yet it happened anyway. The conversations we had, the connection we felt. It was so real. It was like a tether on my heart and my soul. But your soul. Your soul needs to be freed. And if my love can free it. Despite the loss. I will do it. For you. Forever. I will live alone. If it means that you get your freedom. Let's propose to Martine. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! I can't believe it! You set me free. This is the best day of my life. 
I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you all the way to the moon and the stars. My heart is full of joy and adventure. I'm finally free. I'll never forget you, my love. Am I gonna cry over the Ratchler? Too? I literally... I literally might be crying right now. <laughs> um... Epilogue? Where are they now? I'm depressed, so... Um... Moom finds peace in their favorite place. Marrying worms. A fashionable duo finds a joyful romance. Boy Boy Mysterio and Baron Hotland scheming together. And Celery invents a new recipe. Spinach truffle cake. Disgusting. Wow. That was, um... I'm quite sad. I'm very sad. I do love that from Mysterio, though, as well. That is very sweet. I just didn't think that, uh... That it would be that sad. Is there a season three? There's a season three? I mean, we gotta do season three, right? <laughs> we gotta do season three. Hold on. We're doing so jump scare. How many of these do they have? Hold on. Season 3 is coming right up. I gotta see it. I gotta see it now. I need an ending that doesn't make me want to cry. That's, uh... That's gotta happen. I'm not mourning because I forgot that it happened. <gasps> Ooh, this is very different. Look at this. Look at this! Look how different it is. Ooh, the wallpaper's pretty. Is it time to embark? I know it's... Oh, oh, it loaded. <laughs> when it doesn't load. Rats in the city? The Ratchler 3? Welcome! Welcome to the new season of The Ratchler. Finally, it has been under development for five years. And finally, we could give you the next season. <laughs> I bet you probably binged the last two seasons, and yes, season two was a bittersweet ending, but here we are for the Ratchler 3, Rats in the City. Let's embark on the journey and see if this rat will be able to find love again. Meet yourself! Who is the Ratchler this season? We've got a lot of options here, definitely two. It's a thousand percent two. I don't even need to choose, it's two. I'm not doing a poll because it is two in my heart, it is two. I wonder, I wonder if we're, uh, I wonder if we're in New York, in the Big Apple. Dress up for the show? <gasps> I get to dress up for the show? No way! I get to change the way I look? Eyebrows, let's, do we put our eyebrows on? Socks, pants, and gloves? <laughs> What's the vibe? What if I just go, I feel like, <laughs> Why do I, I don't know if I like the eyebrows. <laughs> I feel like I see this is where I want to live, right? City view, my eyebrows on the table, <laughs> my poster of other rats on the wall. I think the feet should be out. I think we should keep our hands warm. I think I like the pants and the gloves. No eyebrows. Onwards. Meet your suitors. Ooh. This is city dating. This is city dating life. I love it. We've got Bada Bing, a Gemini. Wow. Wee. Now that is truly Gemini energy. That is. Boingo, another Gemini. I'm awake. Let's do something fun. Such a city vibe. Um, Boogaloo, Capricorn, Hog. Oh my God, a clown. We're choosing a clown. Corgi Taurus or Corge. Why, hello there. Can we get to know each other better? Not sure if I like your vibe. Emery's a Le Libra. Let me play you a tune. Cute. 
Flyboy? Sagittarius, my spirits are soaring. Okay, I can't deal with anyone else who can fly or float. I'm not having another Martine, okay? Um, Frozen, Virgo, my craft is my world. Then Hammerton's a Scorpio yawning, same. Mandy, ooh, ants? Wait, that's not a rat. Wait, maybe? It looks like an elephant. Marsh is an Aries. Hey, Martians. I don't know anything about these people. Michael, Scorpio, hello. Angel and Devil Rat on the shoulders. Mystique, Aquarius, riddle me this. A little bit, ooh, a little bit mysterious. Oedim, Libra, oh, every day is my birthday. <laughs> what? The Honorable Pamplemousse, Pomplemousse, wait. Pomplemousse is in, like, the French word for... Wait, what is it for? Pineapple? The pomplemousse? Or no. No, pineapple's different. Pomplemousse is grapefruit or, fruit or something, right? I don't know. Leo, I like to be pampered. Okay. Philoxena, your eyes remind me of the flower gardens at home. I can't wait to be friends. Okay. Poodles, I love to help others. Swalorn, Leo... What's cooking good looking? Vroom, vroom. Tambone, you and me, could it be? <laughs> Thundercroft, oh, I'm blushing. Yodin, oh, hello there, I'm Yodin. And then, what's your sign, Zendelo? I don't know who to choose. I don't know. There's a lot of options here that I feel like I don't actually know who they are, you know? Maybe we do... Maybe we do, uh... Oh, I honestly don't know. Maybe Mystique, riddle me this. Um, also, I, I feel like I go... I go by vibe, like the picture. Oh, I like Philoxi Philo Philoxena. Um, Poodles. Poodles is kind of cute. Swalorn. The Hemonia looks like creepy to me. <laughs> I don't know. Thundercroft, Yodin. Mm. Who else do we choose? Four more? I don't even want. I don't even know who, who to choose. Intrigued by Michael's inner religious conflict. <laughs> That's true. You're right. Yeah, let's choose Michael. That, that is interesting. Um, Pomplemousse. Oh man, I like to be pampered though. I don't know. Zindilla? Who's that? I don't even remember these people. Where is Zindilla? Oh. What's your sign? Three more conditions. Boingo. I don't even know who you're talking about. Oh, Boingo's here. Let's, okay, you know what? Let's pick a Gemini. Okay, so we have Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer. So we've actually got a good array. We could do a Pisces also, and maybe, oh, I'm blushing, Leo, Virgo, let's do Zendelo, and one more, a Leo, Libra, every day's my birthday, <laughs> should I do that person, every day, that's so, <laughs> that's so annoying, <laughs> every day's my birthday, uh, oof. The elephant ant is a Capricorn, and so is Boogaloo. Poodles is kind of cute. Let's do Poodles. This is, this was hard to choose. Onwards. Time to date. <gasps> this is so new and different and fresh. Oh my god, I'm in, I'm in Times Square. <laughs> Whoa. It's a joy to look in your eyes where I could see the sparkling, twinkling sparkle of words that haven't been said. I can't wait to hear you say them. Why am I lounging on the couch like my feet up? I'm like waiting for her to give me a massage. <laughs> what the hell? Um, that's cute. I'm gonna do a little smiley. <gasps> what does that mean? <gasps> Hello, what a pleasure to meet you. I was taught that every new meeting must begin with flowers, so I bought some pink and yellow tulips to express my feelings. 
I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the concept of, how do you say, flower? <laughs> what exactly is this flower you speak of? Thanks for being here. I, you know what? Thanks for being here. I kind of love her a little bit. I kind of love her. What is never whole, but always broken? Yes, this question has kept me up at night indeed. Do let me know if you figure it out, my dear. What? What's never whole, but always broken? What's never whole, but always broken? What is never whole, but always broken? Huh? What's never whole, but always broken? Silence? Damn, that's a good answer. <laughs> You're smart, jeez. Silence is a good answer. Um, that makes me think. And it hurts my brain, but it does make me think, Mystique. Promises, trust, ooh. <gasps> Hello, what can I do for you today? I'm Poodles, and my favorite thing is the world. As the grad wishes it help others. I love milk! Send not me ever. High five or ew. <laughs> Why would I say I love milk? <laughs> I have to say that, dude. I have to. I love milk! Uh, <laughs> Why? What is this? <gasps> huh? What did you think of that honk? It was great, wasn't it? I mastered the art of honking. Honking is funny because of the spherical shape of the nose attachment and the subsequent sounds perfect frequency of exactly 152 hertz. Oh, sorry, I'm rambling again. All I could say is that I'm at the top of my class in a top tier clown school. Some would say I am too. That's a lot to consider. I'm just gonna smile again. I'm just gonna do a little smile again. I love Boogaloo. I love Boogaloo's outfit. Oh, hey, pleased to make your acquaintance. Gosh, I'm so pumped up being on this show, meeting new people, yeah! I just want to do a backflip, but I won't, because my gymnastics instructor says I'm not ready, even though I've been training for almost a week. <laughs> Who are you again? Oh, right, you're the one with the angel and devil on your shoulders. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't understand. <laughs> huh? Oh no, you're the angel. Who the hell was Boingo? Wait, <laughs> who was that? Did we choose that person? Why? That was, huh? Wow, I just have so many thoughts running through my head. Your eyes are beautiful. Oh, you want to know about the two rats on my shoulder? Don't mind them, their nose are mid and ale. Oh wow, your nose is so fortuitous. What? Oh yeah, I just came up with that compliment myself. My shoulder rats definitely didn't suggest it. <sighs> What angel and devil? Don't say things like that or thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. They're so cute. Who gets a rose? I feel like it always goes so fast. Okay. Choose five rats to continue. There's five of you who I will uh, keep with me. Some of you I don't even remember who you are, if I'm completely honest. I honestly think that there's just... There's so much to like about all of you. And I don't know. I do know. Obviously, we're keeping uh, Philazina. Philazina is uh, one of the few that really wooed me. She, uh, they gave me flowers, and um, that really got to me. I think as the second rat that I choose, it is... Um, the first rat that I met, it is Zendelo. Zendelo. Now I have three left. I have three roses left. And the people that I give them to is decided by <laughs> vibe alone. This is completely based on the way that the artwork is, and that is Boogaloo. I just love the clown aesthetic i think it really works and i appreciate someone who's top in their class so that's uh that's what i feel and next i would say um 
Thank you for being here, Kira. <laughs> I also hope I end up with Felicina. I think next I will choose... <sighs> Who will I choose? Who will I choose? I think I'm going to choose... Mystique. I'd like to choose someone with a little bit of mystery. Someone that's out of my usual range. Someone that will keep me on my toes. And last, I really would like some wishes granted. And so I'm going to choose Poodles. Poodles is my choice. And these two, I'm so sorry. Boingo, I literally don't even remember who you are and why I chose you. And Michael, I'm very sorry. But he just didn't do it for me. And that is so mean to say, but it's true. So onwards. Time to date. Where, where's our date now? <gasps> it's at the bus stop. Oh my god. Oh, how beautiful. Poodles. A lot of rats don't believe that I have real wish granting powers. Well, they haven't seen me after three Diet Pepsis and one glass of milk. Well then, if you have wish granting powers, can you give me... A wish, please? Please? I could give you juice and milk. <laughs> I just give juice to people. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I have trouble opening up to new people because I was raised in the tallest tower of a castle on a cliff on an island in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I read that the best way to connect to others is to share your greatest fear, so here it goes. My greatest fear is Halloween! You're afraid of Halloween? I love her, but someone who is afraid of Halloween just might not be the one for me, but thank you for both. I love that for you. I love that you're afraid of Halloween. Halloween is so important to me, but can I sacrifice my love of Halloween for my love of Philozena? I'm going to be nice to you. Thank you for opening up to me. But I'm judging you based on what you just opened up to me about. Oh my. Past. Present. Future. The sands of time slip through the great hourglass and fall together as one. Drip, drip, drip goes the faucet of the fountain of youth. And our cells are reborn one by one. Yet, the veil is never lifted. Have you seen the veil? I can't find it. <laughs> that was slam poetry. And the veil is in my car? What were you saying again? Or no? <laughs> I didn't say the veil's in my car, actually. I have seen it. It's in my car. Oh! <laughs> I like a person who can drive. That's what she said. What's your life plan? I've mapped mine out carefully down to each day. Years one to three, Clown G, Mellon University, year four. I graduate early and do a postdoc in a famous show group in Australia. Year five, I get married. Year six, oh. You, oh, whoops. Shouldn't have said that. I mean, whoever my future partner is and I have three baby rats. And then we have a perfect family of five clowns. Hog. Oh, <laughs> Dude, you want me to have children? Oh, boy. I don't know about this. But the family of clowns thing I can do. Ugh. <laughs> Boogaloo. Sometimes I draw a tarot card in the morning to give me inspiration for the day. And this morning, my card was all about creating new relationships. It made me think about you and how excited I am to get to know you better. Oh, why would I scream? Ah, just scream in their face. Ah, ah. You're a keeper. You're such a keeper, Zendello. You're sweet. Who gets a rose? <gasps> oh no. I can only choose four? Oh, I know who I'm choosing. Immediately, I know. This is an easy choice. First person I'm choosing. Maybe I should just say... Yeah. First person that I'm choosing... Is... Is... 
importantly. Poodles? It is not you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Poodles. I did a fake out. You are not getting a rose today. You need to leave. Everybody else can stay. Onwards we go. Time to date more. Ooh, fancy date time. Fancy date time. <gasps> Zindello. I printed the stars from the skies for my birthdays and reorganized them so that the different constellations spelled out how much I love you. 100,023. That was no accident, no serendipitous twist of fate, but the fruits of my labors. Wow, that's, you're so smart. It's like, I appreciate the effort, but also kind of creepy the way that you said that. I don't know if I could explain. I'm all for tarot, I'm all for uh, astrology, but something about the way that you're sitting and the way you said that is creeping me out. But you're so smart. <gasps> Boogaloo! I know clowning has an inconsistent income stream, but I'm very good- that's literally me. But I'm very good at low-stakes gambling and fill in the gaps that way. I have a good memory and read books on blackjack in my spare time. It's one of my goals to be an upstanding citizen, but more than that, I want to be honorable in your eyes. I can make sure that we live comfortably, and I can make you laugh every day. Wow, that's... That's actually really sweet. <laughs> That's really sweet. I can't imagine what that's like or wow you're so Wait, this is so weird. I don't know. I don't want to say any of these. I'm going to say wow you're so smart. That is, you know what? That is sweet to say. I can't get over the fact that my character is like laying down. <laughs> Just leaning back, hand on the crotch. Nothing else. No, no worry in the world. The ancient prophecy has foretold a great warrior who could conquer any battle. I believe you may be that warrior, but first answer me this. What is the capital of Idaho? For once, I actually know. Boise? Bonzi? Or Joycey? <laughs> it's actually Boise. I think Mystique is losing it as well. <gasps> I got the answer right, baby! I didn't just cheat, I didn't write convincing- Conveniently, I didn't write the capital of Idaho on my hand. Just before the date. That's so weird that I chose the right state to write on my hand. <gasps> Why am I afraid of Halloween? When I first left Chateau Reto, my ancestral home, I thought October 31st was a regular beautiful day, but when I reached the local town, I couldn't believe how scary the outside world was. The cobwebs, gravestones, skeletons everywhere. I never left the grounds before and almost started to cry. Then a small bird flew to me and told me it was all just for decoration. Um, well that's something I think that you can get over. I think that's a flaw that we can get past, you know? I think that we can get past this? Um, I don't know what you mean because can't you tell that it's all fake? Maybe I'm being rude. If I was kept on uh, a, a cliff over a mountain over the ocean in a castle on a diamond bridge on a ribbon of the wind clouds maybe I would be scared of Halloween as well maybe maybe I would that sounds like a personal problem that sounds like a you problem uh not something I want to worry about <laughs> I'm gonna say don't worry why is everyone shocked at my answers who gets a rose <sighs> The rats that are going to continue on this journey are ones that are very special to me. Ones that are special to my soul. And, uh... The rats that I'm going to choose... Speak to me. Well, you all speak to me, so... I suppose that's not a good way of phrasing things. Um... Um, 
Philizina. Boogaloo. You two are safe. You're safe. And now, I only hold one rose in my hand. And this rose will go to the person that I need to choose. And that person is... Who... <laughs> Is who I'm gonna choose. That's who I'm gonna choose. The person that I'm gonna choose is the one who gets. The person that I'm gonna choose is the one that I'm gonna choose. So I'm gonna choose them and think about choosing. Who am I gonna choose? That's who I'm gonna choose. And I'm gonna choose. I'm choosing. Oh, roses are a really special thing. Roses are so special. I'm not stalling with an ad. Roses are very special, and so when you get a rose and you give it to someone, it's a sign of love. So this Valentine's Day, you can do that. Yes, that's in 370 something, whatever day. Well, that's not true. 200, 325 days. No, 300, yeah. 325 days away. You can never be too close to choosing. What kind of rose you want to give to your loved ones? Because if you don't choose the kind of rose you want to give, then you will never find love. And so, you should buy roses from our special boutique called Rose Up Your Butts. Uh, rose Up Your Butts. And it is... Actually, that's a badass name, not gonna lie. <laughs> that's kind of badass. Uh, it's... Uh, rose... Come buy your roses from this place. And uh, you know what? That's all the time that we need today to advertise because we are so proud of our roses and so we're going to go back to your regularly scheduled program. And the rose that uh, the person, oops, the person that I'm choosing. You know what? I'm not a fan of when people ask me trivia questions and I don't want to be a battle warrior. So Mystique, I'm sorry, but you've got to go. Zendello, you're here to say, oh my god. Oh my god, Mystique is doing math problems. Oh no, I really let her down. She's reverted to doing to doing algebra? Jesus Christ, I really messed up here. Just onwards, I don't want to feel bad about this anymore. Whoa. <gasps> We're in a special little room that looks like we could fall out any second. <gasps> Felizina. I decided to leave Chateau Rateau because my cousin showed me a Hot Wheels that they had just got. That the world outside the moat must be full of mysterious trinkets. <laughs> the Hot Wheels I saw was bright green and vibrant. Be that! It reminded me of my family's lost emeralds. I asked the worms, and they said they don't know about our emeralds, but Hot Wheels are easy to come by. <laughs> that is so funny. Hot Wheels is what brought you out of your tower? I would love to hear more about your love of Hot Wheels. Loves Hot Wheels, but hates ha Halloween? I... I can forgive that. I can forgive it. Zendello, what if we took a boat ride right now? That would be so romantic. I know it's negative 10 degrees outside, but I have 12 entire rain ponchos and some extra blankets, so we'll stay warm. I think if we go all the way into the middle of the lake, we would have such a lovely view of the moon. And then when the moon leaves, we'll be able to see the sun. That's really cute, but also it scares me like you're going to try to kill me. <laughs> you want to go to the middle of a lake at night? Watching the moon go away and the sun come up? Right? That's... Are you sure you, you don't want to throw me a lake? You're not going to throw me a lake. With a bunch of rocks on my body. You're going to... She's doing the, an Elliot Hart event. <laughs> no! Not again! No, please don't. Please don't make me relive it. I can't. No. I'm gonna nod. Like, I'm nodding, but I'm looking away. I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh-huh. That's such a good idea. Uh-huh. 
I think the reason I'm so good at clowning isn't natural talent, but rather, I mastered the science of clowning. I studied really hard and persevered. I also have a great persona that I've never, uh, I've used or tested extensively. It's been my dream since I was little to make people happy, but I wasn't naturally funny, so I studied and studied. <laughs> You're a keeper! Hey, if you could study being funny, call me a freaking educator. I'm teaching the ways of the funny. I'm teaching the ways of the, the humor that goes, and and I'm Doctor Funny. I'm I I'm Professor Professor Funny. Professor Funny. And I've got more than one funny bone. I'll tell you that, Boogaloo. And I could teach you some stuff too. I could teach you some stuff as well. You're a keeper. That's right. Who gets a rose? We could only choose two rats. Two of you? Two of you will be staying. One of you will be leaving. And then, again, in the next round, another one will be leaving. And I will have a soulmate. And the, all the rest of you will have nothing. Absolutely nothing. And so... I think something that's really important to me is the ability to push past... The cards you're given to be able to play the game shuffle the cards and win and so I think that Boogaloo <laughs> is gonna stay Boogaloo you talented clown you I can't wait to see you in the next round and now between Zendello and Philizina, I think it's obvious who my choice is going to be. Though Halloween is a favorite of mine, and though I do love tarot, one of you has to leave. And so, that person that's going to leave is the person... That technically threatened to kill me in a lake. I'm sorry. I mean, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Oh, I feel so bad. I clicked the wrong one, and then I had to be like, oh wait. Oh no, wait. You weren't. <laughs> I said Zadello. I said Zadello, and she she took the rose, and I was like, um, sorry. No, no, no. I. I was passing it, I was passing it to Philzina, not you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that that. <laughs> you thought it was in the cards, but really, you read them wrong. And you need to read this room. And read the fact that you're no, you no longer belong in it. It's. <laughs> it's. I'm so sorry. I'll watch your tail as you walk away. And I will never forget the threats that you gave me. Now I really think I'm gonna get killed in the lake. <laughs> Yikes, onwards we go. Mistakes that were made, but you know what? That always happens. Ooh, <gasps> pretty. There's roses on the floor. Hand is still on the crotch. I love juggling. But it's important to me that you know I only juggle props. And I would never juggle your heart. I love juggling, but I love you even more. Wow. That is smooth as hell. That is smooth as hell. Wow. This is a scholar. A scholar a player, a smooth talker. There's a future. We've got a planned future together. I value you, Boogaloo. I really like Boogaloo. This is going to be the hardest choice I've ever made. <gasps> this is actually my first time in a city, and everything's so new. I didn't even know that there were life-size versions of Hot Wheels. <laughs> but there's just something so enchanting about their small scale. I let the city ants drive around in mine, and they were very grateful. They brought me back a lovely nectar lemonade, which is my favorite. 
Drinks without sugar scare me, but you won't because you're so sweet. Okay, okay. You know, that one didn't hit as well as Boogaloo's, though. Look! I don't know, man. Sugar scares you. Drinks without sugar scares you. But you don't because you're so sweet. Okay, see, I had to read that again. I had to read... I had to read that again. Okay, so you're saying I'm very sweet so I don't scare you. Okay, you know what? You have a way with words. The way is kind of a workaround way. The way you go with words is kind of like a U-turn. Like you have to back up and then move, go around. But you do have a way with them. Please pick the mean answer. No! What were you saying again? I mean, that was a pretty long-winded answer. But I don't know who I'm going to choose. I don't want to be mean to whoever I choose. Oh, I'm, I, I hate being mean. Should I just scream? I'm gonna scream. Ah! Oh no, Felicita, I'm sorry! I was trying to scare you, trying to get the Halloween fear out of your mind. I was going boo, so that you, so that you could just. <laughs> okay, um, it didn't work, so. Let's figure out who we're gonna choose. A rat to propose to. I've done this three times already. Three times divorce changed the way I look, changed who I am. And now is the last time. Shall we do a poll? Let's see what the audience suggestion is. Instead of instead of figuring out what uh the Ratchelor actually decides. Let's, uh, let's see what the audience votes on. Please vote right now, uh, who you think the Ratchelor should choose. Who should the Ratchelor propose to? Should, should they propose to Boogaloo? The, 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 the charismatic study person? Or, or, or... Philizina, the the person locked away in the tower and who loves Hot Wheels and, and hates Halloween. Who who is the audience believing should be worthy of the Ratchelor's love? How many people believe in love? That should be the next <laughs> the next question I ask. Now audience choice does not really reflect what's actually gonna happen in the game, but it is good to know what the viewers like to see. So that next season we know exactly what to do and what to say. Looks like the audience has come up with an answer, surprisingly. And the poll is ending. Thank you very much for your contributions, everybody. Ended, the poll ended very quickly. But it doesn't matter because you, all you want to see is the real choice. And so I will show you. The real choice. Today in my hands I hold a rose. A rose. It smells so sweet. Because it was sprayed with perfume. It's not a real rose. It's fake. Like I said, all these seasons they're plastic roses. Because they spent all the money on other stuff. And they stopped doing as many ads, so we've got, uh, we've got dollar store roses here for you, so you can't even really, really enjoy it. Anywho, um, the person that I'm going to choose as my love, lawfully, lovely, lawfully wedded rat is, is... Is, <laughs> is Boogaloo! I'm choosing Boogaloo! Boogaloo, I can't! It's, it's just the clown and the Halloween thing. It really, it really, it really twisted me off. And you know, maybe I don't want five little rat kids. But Boogaloo just had too many good lines. And a clown I am, and a honk I will say. 
Honk if you'll marry me, Boogaloo. Onwards. It's the proposal. <gasps> oh, cute. Oh, sweet. Honk, honk, honk. Continue. Ending? What does this mean? <gasps> I love you. Oh, that's a cute picture. Honk, honk. Oh, sorry. I'm crying from joy a little. It's making my nose honk. But I'm so happy. I can't believe it. I'm going to make you the happiest rat alive. I absolutely love this picture. I'm changing the thumbnail to be this picture. A thousand percent. Oh, my God. That is so cute. I love colors. Look at the colors. Epilogue. Where did everyone else end up? Unhappy and not with me. So that's all I need to know. But what really happened? <gasps> Thundercroft and Philozena's love makes the sun shine brighter. Mystique is burdened by thinking of a number that no one has ever thought of before. Poodles is ready to grant some wishes. And Michael finds the perfect... <gasps> What is that implying? <laughs> That's kind of messed up, isn't it? That's kind of a messed up. <laughs> oh my god. That's so... That's so out of pocket, dude. That's so out of pocket. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. You know what? <laughs> Um, uh, let's just, let's move past that. That's a, yeah, uh, okay. Special thanks. Oh, credits for the game. Th no, it was so fun. This was such a fun game. Oh, cute. Oh, the music was from the YouTube audio library. What do you know? Good to know. Great job, people. Every, uh, great job to these people who made the game. It was very fun. I had a lot of fun. Maybe I should change. I'm going to keep this music on. This music's cute. Maybe I should change the picture. <laughs> Let me add a little rat. That was fun. I'm so glad we made up for the whole, uh... Dino thing. You know what I mean? In jur... Jur... jur sick Hold on. Let me... Let me... Add a little... There we go. I'm adding rats. Thank you all for joining me on this stream. I'm going to think about rat love. And the love that I... Ooh, that was weird. I, can't, I don't know how to draw rats. This looks like... Wait, this looks like a rat that I've seen in, like, stories. Wait, that doesn't. Oh my god, this is awful. That's so bad. This is the process of drawing that I don't show before the streams. This is really bad. Oh god. I don't know what rats are like. Okay, I'm gonna give up now. That's it. <laughs> you know what? I'll try to... I'll try to... <laughs> I'll just... I won't do it anymore. Okay. Well, that was pretty fun. It was it was a bit of a chaotic stream, I won't lie, but you know, I think we did. Yeah, we I I I think we all deserve a little applause for that. I got married 3 times. Not 4 times because the dino thing didn't really work out. It was just <laughs> the dino thing feels like a fever dream. It doesn't feel real, and I'm kind of glad for that. I'm glad it's in the past, you know? I think I think I'll just watch Jurassic Park and and pretend that Alan's in love with T-Rex mama. So, um, thank you all for being here. And, uh, I hope that you all enjoyed stream. And I will see you all in the video this week and then on the stream Monday. So I hope you have a good rest of your week. And, uh, that is all. I need to go sleep and dream of rats loving me. Have a good night, everybody. Don't let the rats bite your tissues. Goodbye. And don't let the dinos drop the ukuleles. It's very important.
Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Honk. <laughs>